This video was taken somewhere in South America and it shows a man sitting on a table at a security monitoring station. Little does he know that he too is apparently being monitored and not by a camera. After a while, this is what happens to him. Even the people reviewing the footage can't believe what they are seeing. Not only does a nearby chair move on its own, but it also moves in his general direction. It's almost as if the ghost is pulling up a seat directly across from him. Unbelievably, the man doesn't seem to notice this paranormal activity unfolding before him. At least at first, he is looking at his cell phone when suddenly it happens again. This time he sees it, and his reaction seems very legitimate as he becomes startled and tense. He looks behind him to make sure that the security camera is recording all of this for later evidence. Then he hops off the table and stares at the chair before him. Obviously scared now, he waits for it to move again, but it doesn't, so he goes over to inspect it more closely. This is probably the most convincing part of the video, because he would have seen a fishing line if it was a fake prank. Instead, he picks the chair up, puts it back in its place, and then puts a stand in front of it and gets out of there fast. I'm not saying that this video is absolutely 100% real, but it is certainly a possibility. Mass Most Haunted posted this video in 2012. The YouTuber claims that his house is haunted. In the description, he writes, Paranormal activity happens so much that ghost voices are caught on EVPs. In any video recorded in my house, in this video, a ghost is caught on camera scaring my kitten. And while I was filming paranormal activity in my kitchen, a ghost throws a large box at my kitten. Luckily, my cat was not hurt and I caught it on camera. The YouTuber is a paranormal investigator, and the video clips were recorded around Christmas time. The investigator also notes that paranormal activity is high in his home at this time of year, and although the ghosts rarely hurt him or his cats, sometimes they do. In this video, according to the investigator, during the Nutcracker song that served as background during a television commercial, one of the ghosts is heard in an EVP saying Nutcracker. I don't know about this one. Sounds like part of the commercial to me, but what happens next is really frightening. The investigator believes the ghosts are speaking vulgarities and some of them are evil, including one that has attacked the homeowner and whose favorite pastime is throwing things at the cat to scare it. The intro to the clip notes that if a ghost is trying to make you notice it and you ignore them, one way or another they will find a way to get to you and the clip shows that's true. In the clip, one of the kittens is leaving the kitchen. As she exits, the kitten jumps suddenly and turns around to look down the hallway. Then she jumps backwards, scared by something. The YouTuber says that something was thrown at the kitten from the kitchen and zooming in on the place where the kitten was standing, a shadow falls from the kitchen to the hallway, suggesting something has indeed been thrown. She just got scared by something. I don't know if you just saw that, but ooh, something. The lights in the kitchen are also flickering as this occurs. What did the poor kitten see? What scared her? We may never know. A man claims that he keeps experiencing paranormal activity in his dining room and nowhere else. He feels unsafe and decides to leave a camera running in the dining room to see what goes on when he's not around. Nothing happens for a while, but then something comes along in the window that looks questionable. This is the zoomed in version. A tiny face appears to peek out at them from the glass panel on the bottom right before darting out of sight. You can't really make out any of its features, but notice how some orbs float by shortly before this happens. It's hard to tell if it's a paranormal creature or just a small animal, but I wouldn't want to be left alone in the house to find out. The crew from Rhoda X, Investigaso Paranormal, enters a house with many demons. Even before entering, they spot on the roof. Fica um homem de preto ali em cima. Is that a gargoyle? The cameraman then captures this terrifying anomaly in a window. 
They get a reading on their EMF meter, and energy is near. Then one of their paranormal devices jumps off the charts. And it continues to go haywire around their equipment. Lastly, this happens. That was obviously a bat, but what about the other creepy captures? This one in particular haunts me. Do you want to play a game? Post it to the Ghosts subreddit by responsible at 8836. This guard in Mexico often hears noises at night while on watch. He recorded this one while on patrol. While walking the grounds at night, he heads around the building when what looks like a man's head pops out from around the corner. The guard chases it around the corner, but there's nothing there. <laughs> The Redditor also posted a frame-by-frame -frame video to better see the figure. Many in the comments are clearly surprised. Some point out there are no feet, while others suggest it's a grey extraterrestrial. Still, others say it looks like it's playing a game. Do you want to play? I suggest that guard heads back in the other direction. Even though this snake wasn't on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson would probably not appreciate its presence on this train platform. Tweeted by Triple GRTO, he writes, Being a train operator for NYCT Subway, I thought I have seen it all, but this can't be real. Oh, it's real, all right. This feet long snake, which has been identified as a non venomous black eastern rat snake, was spotted on a subway platform in New York City on August 10th, 2020. The species can grow up to seven feet and is native to the East Coast region, from Connecticut down to South Carolina and west to Kansas. It feeds on rodents, which may be why it's lurking in a New York subway station. As the enormous snake weaves slowly across the platform, a commuter stands not far off, waiting for her train's arrival. The MTA addressed the situation in a tweet writing, this is a new one for us. They were investigating the matter and aren't aware how it got there, although the reptile doesn't appear to have an owner, so may have just been out for a midday stroll or slither. Still, I'm sure many New Yorkers wouldn't want to share the L train with this scaly passenger. Driving in the Himalayas can be beautiful, unless you're opposite an angry driver. Published by Extreme Out in July of 2016, this driver was descending the dangerous Rotang Pass from Manali to Leh when he crossed paths with a heavy truck moving in the opposite direction. The driver notes that everyone should be patient in such conditions because impatience can lead to lives lost. They didn't find patience in this truck driver, though. The man writes that he dipped his lights on the narrow mountain road to indicate that the truck and car ahead should stop and let him pass if they had a wider road. The truck did not signal back, but the car indicated that there was space to cross and so he should move forward. After moving to the side, the car passes easily, but the truck is taking its time, which is understandable as you can see how bumpy the terrain is. However, it became clear that the truck driver apparently wasn't going to pass at all. After sitting for a moment, the uploader starts to reverse to give the truck a wider berth, and instead the truck drives right at him. He raises his hand for the truck driver to stop and then continues to back up on the dangerous road, which he notes is not easy. Again, instead of passing, the truck is directed at him. The game continues for a time until finally the truck passes. 
They stopped him to argue, wondering why he acted the way he did. Was it a threat out of spite, or did he really not have room to pass? From this angle, we will never know. I first heard about 30 East Drive in Pantafrac through YouTuber Shadow Man. It's said to be haunted by a somewhat evil entity named Fred or the Black Monk. Many have explored the haunted location in the UK, and here's some of the best captures in this home. The first short one comes from YouTuber Thomas Matthew, who captured a door closing. That's it. That's it. Push the door. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This next video is even creepier. JDH Spooks Paranormal captured a mysterious hand. This video from Christopher Chell shows a paranormal device rolling off of a chair. Yeah. Hey, so we've got a cat ball on the chair. No one's in the room. You suddenly get your light up. Roll off. We've been sat on that chair for a good while, but nothing should affect it. Purple Bee Paranormal recorded this video where the broken radio suddenly revives itself. With the radio. the radio. It's the radio, come in. Don't work. You mean the radio don't work? It's bloody singing to itself. But this last clip tops them all. Lee Brady shares this footage that was filmed by the property's cleaner, Dara B. I have just seen something. I have just seen something. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. This piece of evidence really hit it home for me. I am entirely convinced that 30 East Drive is 100% haunted. And if this is the ghost known as Fred, I don't want to know. I think it's time to get the heck out of there. A YouTuber named Batchain Puller says they were watching Game of Thrones when they noticed this little girl staring into their home with a blank expression. She does not seem to be trying to get anyone's attention and seems perfectly content with staring straight ahead into a stranger's home on Christmas, judging by the decorated tree. The YouTuber says that there is an explanation for this video, but doesn't go into any more detail. Maybe they will still remember what happened all these years later. This footage was supposedly taken by a 911 caller and later edited to include his actual 911 call. The caller starts out by saying he's hearing some strange noises in his basement. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think there's somebody in my house right now. Uh, we're going to dispatch an officer right now. Can you tell me what happened? What happened was I was hearing some strange noises coming from my basement. Okay. I decided to go down there and see what it was, and, and I think I saw um, someone standing in the corner over there. Okay. And this ghostly basement sighting is what supposedly caused him to make the call. Look closely, and you will see that this does appear to be a shadowy figure from another time period. I personally see someone from the Victorian age, perhaps a woman with a large dress and oversized hat. He runs upstairs and makes the call after seeing her. Then again, if this video was real, then I don't know how he would have gotten a copy of his own 911 call. I could be wrong, but I think those are private records and generally unobtainable. There are also sound effects that are obviously put over the video once he sees the ghost, so maybe this is just a prank after all. It could be computer effects or even a mannequin. Baba Singh is riding at night when he sees a fluttering figure in white robes at the side of the road. Tell me what he says here at 55 seconds upon contact. Oh, bhai. Oh, bhai. Oh, bhai. Oh, bhai.
It looks like it could be a ghost with its back turned to him and possibly floating in midair, perhaps at the very same spot where its life concluded, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you think this video from India is a real ghost sighting or just an encounter with a person dressed in all white. Okay, so there's this tech channel from Singapore called Computer Guys, and one of their videos is beyond creepy. Weird things are continuously caught on tape in one of the most unlikely places to ever become haunted, a bare, nondescript server room. No one is seen on two different security cams and yet the door opens by itself. A ghost did it, they later say. I guess they were having technical problems shortly afterwards because IT workers come into the room to run some programs and check wires. No sooner do they leave, does the paranormal activity return. As the minutes pass, the laptop flips back open right before an IT worker walks in to check some things. Everything looks fine, nothing weird, and then things get scary in a paranormal way. A sighting of a ghost on the floor is caught on camera, which is then knocked over. Some paranormal investigators will tell you that electricity attracts the supernatural, so it makes sense that a ghost would haunt a high voltage server room if that were true. With that said, the whispering at the end does seem a little over the top to be real, and makes me wonder if this scary ghost sighting video is legitimate. This home surveillance footage has been circulating around the internet, but I'm trying to figure out if it's fake or did this woman have her home surveillance hacked? After all, there have been many cases of that happening over the last couple years. If that's the case, it's super scary to think this woman is being watched by an unknown person without her knowledge and without any context. You would never know that scenario is a real possibility. What do you think? Is this real or fake? What has no arms, no legs, no face, no head, a rodent's tail, and is taking over the UK? I have no answer, and neither does modern science. This gross, grub-like tube of meat moves like a caterpillar and even stops to investigate a hole to possibly poke through. Just thinking about one of these things living behind my walls is enough to make me want to check my entire house for them. And like I said, no one has been able to identify what they are, even though they've been spotted all around Britain. So if one of them comes crawling across your floor sometime soon, don't say I didn't warn you. It's a full moon and a YouTuber who goes by the name of Al Capone is in the most hectic cemetery I have ever seen. He can't even explain what he's been through without getting interrupted. Okay, things moving behind tombstones while I was driving it. Then listen to this at 4 minutes and 52 seconds. No, behind me. Oh, you heard the, behind you? I heard it. No, I here. heard what was by you, but I'm saying by the cars like... Al is talking when another man's voice speaks at the same time. What they hear a minute and a half later leaves their mouths hanging open. <laughs> I mean, this could be neighbors from some of the nearby houses, except there's really no reason for anybody to be shouting near the cemetery in the middle of the night. Plus, the direction these voices are coming from is deeper in the cemetery, away from the houses and closer to the woods. And since this video was made in the middle of January 2020, I doubt anyone was out there camping. Hardly anyone wants to see a clown at the best of times. Guaranteed, no one wants to see an uninvited clown on their doorstep. Published to YouTube in August of 2019, this creepy clown is everyone's unwelcome guest, residents of San Antonio, Texas. 
Likely double check their locks after video of this creepy visitor was captured on ring surveillance footage. The clown was said to be loitering outside people's homes in the middle of the day saying trick or treat. Again, it was August at the time. The ring footage captures the man wearing a clown mask approaching a home around 1 p.m. The anonymous homeowner wasn't present at the time of the clown's visit. The security video was shared to neighborhood groups, sending a collective chill down everyone's spine. Resident Ernest Marquez sums up the fear, saying, What his intentions were, I don't know. The uncertainty, the unknown is everyone's greatest fear. Hopefully this case was broken before it was too late. Warning, if you buy this flat, you'll have an unwanted roommate. Published by Seeker of Ghosts in April of 2022, the paranormal investigator is trying to communicate with the passed on through a spirit box when this happens. <laughs> The spirit then sends him a clear message, but he doesn't listen. So the poltergeist tries to warn him further. The lights continue to flicker as the spirit box goes haywire. Then he asks what the spirit's name is to no avail. Rather than answer, the spirit gets angrier. He apparently doesn't like anyone prying into his personal life. He even comes to visit. Did this paranormal investigator overstay his welcome? It seems he was never welcome here at all. This footage was taken in 1997, a year filled with strange sightings of a mysterious beast lurking deep in the woods of Emerson, Missouri. One day, a wildlife warden finds a camera ominously laying in the middle of a nature trail. He checks the footage and is stunned by what he finds. The footage was apparently taken by a pair of hunters. The two of them are walking through the woods when an evil-looking transparent figure suddenly approaches. Do you see that? Over there, look, 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 over there. Do you see that? What the hell? Wait, 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 that, because that was it again, right there, right there. The see-through creature looks small and menacing as it glides across the forest floor without so much as a sound. They lose track of the creature for a bit and then find it again. This time, the camera zooms in for a better look. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this. You see that? Right there. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. That's not an animal. Uh, I don't like it. Okay, 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 okay fuck. Go, 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 go. go. The unidentifiable creature sees them and squats down in a low and aggressive posture. It lets out an inhuman shriek that sounds both high-pitched and deep at the same time. The men run deeper into the woods, terrified out of their minds as the thing presumably tracks them like prey. What happens from there is unknown. Hopefully, they make it out of the woods alive, but in the decades since, no one has ever come forward to claim the video as their own. A YouTuber named Tanner Shelton is trying to clear his mind by making a TikTok video at the mall when he accidentally records a phantom figure that disappears after a brief but horrifying moment. Hey guys, so I decided to just get out of the house today. I think it's probably good for me to keep my mind off of things and just... She has long black hair over her eyes and a white outfit, and the way she is rooted in place hardly looks like an ordinary shopper going about their day. He admittedly does give her ample time to go back around the corner, so this could have been planned. A YouTuber named BR Henry 16 is deep in a Southern California mine when he sees a pale light off in the distance. The light doesn't have the intense brightness of modern electronics. Instead, it looks dim and swings at waist level, kind of like an old lantern would have. BR Henry 16 is sure that this is the spirit of a cave miner, and I would have to agree. Let me know if you think the same, or if you believe this portion of the video was staged. 
After cutting a giant hole into a concrete wall, YouTuber Cyrax686 climbs through the hole to show us the secret room he's found beyond the wall. It's not big, but it is something, he says, noting that there's an unconnected pipe coming diagonal down the wall in the room. In one corner of the ceiling, there's a hook. At another point in the wall, another pipe juts out, but leads nowhere. A pile of wood is piled on the ground, tied with a length of rope. The point of this secret room is unclear. Whether it has no utility or some secret use, we may never know. Something in the woods is about to blow this cop's mind and his eardrums. He walks back with wide eyes and puts his flashlight away, completely done with the situation until backup arrives. But backup doesn't seem to do much better. I think this could be a recording because the scream sounds exactly the same both times. So maybe somebody put a really good speaker system in the woods, or maybe that's just what I'm choosing to believe because I don't want to accept that this is real. This dash cam video was supposedly taken near Hanoi, Vietnam, and was posted on Facebook where it spread to the local news. In it, the car soon pulls up to a figure dressed in all white standing in the middle of the road. The drivers are quite concerned that this individual is standing in the middle of a pitch black road, alone besides one street light above. They don't ask the person anything, instead they quickly drive away. While many online thought it was a ghost of some kind, news agencies have said that this was a woman who is not mentally well and was possibly attempting to take her own life. Let's hope she got the help she needed before it was too late. Judging from his relatively harmless looking appearance, you'd never be able to tell that this man is as heartless and cruel as one can be. This three hour police confession in Anaheim, California eventually culminates in his admission of taking the lives of six homeless men with a blade in less than a month. What strikes me is his calm, almost timid demeanor. He speaks very evenly and you'd never expect that he was capable of generating the rage needed to plunge the blade into one person more than 60 times. Really what you were doing is you were helping clean up the county, clean up the area. In a way, sir, yes. What's even more repulsive is his sense of obligation and pride while looking back at what he's done. He thinks he was doing the city a service by dispatching the unwanted. It's obvious that he does not value human life and only judges people based on how they look, with absolutely no sympathy for their potential or what they've been through. Do you think that what you've done is right or wrong? Wrong, but it had to be done. They were making the place look bad also. Okay. He is still awaiting trial and sentencing. Let me know what you think his sentence should be based on the evidence presented before you. I think he would most likely do it again and should probably be kept away from the public. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric waits until 3 a.m. to communicate with the other side at a cemetery in Japan. He sets up the spirit box and waits to be contacted. They soon sense the presence of a lonely ghost and a single word comes across their equipment. Apparently, the spirit understands its surrounding and knows exactly where it is. Japan. Japan. It's the Japan. It's the Japan. The spirit box continues to chirp out static until the waves clear and this phrase comes out. What they're jealous of, I'm guessing, is the fact that Eric is still alive. They probably should leave by now, but curiosity compels them to stay put until the camera goes out of focus, almost like somebody is very near, maybe even in front of them. And I'm not sure, but I think I hear the name Eric spoken in a thick Japanese accent. <laughs> More spirits seem to find Eric, and by the end of the video an invisible congregation has formed all around him, and he finds himself is surrounded by hushed threats and whispers of regret. I think this voice is real, because the spirit box only gets a little bit of activity at first, and finishes with a chorus of voices. 
When Reactor 4 burst at Chernobyl in 1986, a 10-kilometer exclusion zone was formed and thereafter was increased to 30 kilometers. The initial steam blast resulted in two passed away, while a further 28 passed within months of exposure. These numbers do not even touch upon the total passing toll caused by radiation, and they also don't touch upon the mutations in humans or animals in the area. Which brings us to this footage published in March of 2014. The uploader states that the video is filmed at Chernobyl Power Plant. A close-up of an animal in the area appears to show a headless form on four legs running across the railroad tracks. It almost looks like a headless deer. Some in the comments say that it looks like a large deer with the face of a rabbit or a moose with a twisted neck. And still others say the creature appears as though its neck is deformed and bending towards the opposite side. Mutant or not kind of makes you wonder what other nightmare creatures are lurking in the area. This four-part TikTok series is a journey. Posted by Breadcrumb and Beaver's Pit, the TikToker was working her shift when she spotted something creepy between a crack in the ceiling tiles. It looks like an old man's face or a shrunken head. So I was staring at my ceiling right at work, and then like, I see this light right, and I go over here. In the second video, the TikToker reveals the outside of this building. She says part of the building was a school from the 1920s. She enters the kitchen. The face thing is still exactly where it was last time. Seemingly peering through the cracks, she tries to lift the ceiling tile using a broom. At this point, she thinks it's either insulation or a rope. Here's the legendary area. It's still there. It's chilling. <laughs> Next video sees her climbing up a stepladder to investigate. After lifting the tile, you don't really see the face thing, but you do see that there's a whole other room up there. In the last video, the mystery is solved. Lifting the ceiling tile, you can see what the object is. As the OP suggested earlier, a rope. What was it used for? The OP's theory is an old school bell. Although you may think the saga is over, some in the comments are seeing and hearing new mysteries. One hears something crying in this last clip, and some even claim to see a new person peering down at her. I am not personally seeing or hearing any of that, so we'll just stick with the rope. Mystery solved. When you hear footsteps approaching your room, you'd better lock the door. Posted by Eli Walt KG to the Ghosts subreddit. This clip captures something invisible entering the Redditor's room. Turn up the volume and you can indeed hear footsteps as Eli films the door of his bedroom. Then quietly the door creeps open. While most can agree this would make a normal person freeze, some commend the Redditor's bravery while others, like Redditor B5656561 Warnham, have you learned nothing from horror movies? You don't walk towards the sound in the dark. Totally, who knows what's lurking in the darkness beyond that door. This unidentified flying object over Madrid, Spain looks like it was taken straight out of a video game. The uploading YouTube channel asked the question, what mind would design such a craft? Let's take a look. Any guesses? It looks to me like a helmet, concave and hollowed out on one side, and it keeps on spinning. Now listen closely. As it falls through the air, a high-pitched alarm is heard.
This goes on for a minute and a half until it swirls off to the right and out of sight. Some in the comments think it's a balloon, others think it's an extraterrestrial invasion. I'm on the fence about what this is, but I'm leaning towards a peek into the fourth dimension. If you heard an unexplainable spine-tingling sound, would you have the guts to go investigate? What is that sound? Published to YouTube by Jared McLean in February of 2019. He explains that he heard this terrifying noise outside at 2 in the morning. He said that the sound started out of nowhere and reminded him of a scary movie soundtrack. The noise seemed to be occurring a few blocks away, so he went to get dressed and drove over there to investigate. But the minute he went to leave, the sound ceased. Jared said he wondered if it was paranormal or some natural phenomenon. He asked for his fellow YouTubers to chime in with their theories. Some suggest it sounds like a badly tuned orchestra. Others say someone must have set off every car alarm at once. Still others believe it could be a train's brakes being applied on a nearby railroad track. And even more claim that they've heard the same sound themselves. Nash TV guy put in his own two cents writing. There are a ton of reports from all over the world of these strange sounds, with suggestions ranging from underground bases and drilling. What they all have in common is they're scary. At least we can all agree on that much. Any clue as to what this sound could be? You may be a skeptic, but if you had to choose a place with all the makings of a haunting, it would probably be a hospital. After all, hospitals are the setting in which many souls depart this earth and enter the afterlife, whatever that may be, but sometimes it seems they stay. Published to YouTube in February of 2020, this clip is part of a series of clips entitled The Haunted Hospital Case. The footage shows a hospital that appears to be empty. A trash can stands in the corner and its lid starts to flip repeatedly. The lid doesn't appear to be mechanical, so who or what is causing it to rotate? But it's not just the lid, watch beyond. A paranormal figure jogs past. The figure seems to be in the shape of a young girl, however she is entirely cast in shadow, apart from a small blip of white sneakers. Do you think this might be one of the aforementioned souls? If so, where is she running off to? Or what is she running from? Who's sitting in this chair? YouTuber Mods Gaming captured a ghost of rockin' on camera. Watch the rocking chair. I think the chair rocks too purposefully and for too long to have been knocked before starting to record. I also don't see any fishing line or something else that could debunk this. It looks to me like someone is sitting in the chair, actively rocking it back and forth. My guess is it's grandma. Come back to visit. It's a little past 3am when Brayden Lee hears objects falling over and strange noises coming from within the wall. The situation sounds like it could be paranormal until he turns the lights on and sees this small but scary creature perched in the corner of the room. Now it's time for his dad to get the creature out of his home and into the night. The bat has been flying everywhere and he only has a few moments to act before it goes airborne again, so he has no choice but to put on some gloves and catch the creature. And it's all caught on tape to make for a scary 3am video indeed. He lets out a terrified scream and fumbles the bat before recovering and taking it outside. I'm glad that everyone is alright and that it didn't land on his face or anything because it definitely would have defended itself and there's no telling where that creature has been or what it has. Oh my god. That was good. 
Trace, am I a hero or what? As so many of these videos show, darkness is a recipe for the scariest things imaginable. Posted by YouTuber Ricardo Costa in June of 2009, the uploader writes, A strange shape is spotted at dawn at the Santos Dumont building. In the first pass, it is possible to see only a spectrum without a definite shape, but something that resembles some type of animal. But then it is possible to see a more concrete form of a creature never imagined and still realize that one more accompanies it in a quick jump and soon after disappears without a trace or idea of what they were. In the clip, some men are sitting in the dark when beyond them, a figure is seen moving quickly past. What that figure is you can't really tell as its movements are too quick and there is little light. As the men all jump up to pursue the creature, you glimpse it again for a brief moment as it crawls past a silver of light in the room. It looks like it's doing a bear crawl. They wander around in the darkness a bit longer, searching for the creature, but it seems to have disappeared or perhaps it's in hiding. Some in the comments suggest it's a feral being, possibly even the rake. What do you think it is? Whether human or not, seeing and hearing something move like this in the darkness would certainly make me freak out. It's late at night when an unusual looking mist makes the driver pull over and start recording. Something is off about the scenery. It doesn't look or feel natural. And less than a minute later, this appears directly in front of them. First orbs dance all around, and then the fog clumps together to form a phantom reaching out. I've never seen fog behave like this, and the way it rises looks just like a person standing up. There's no denying the shape is human, and if you look close enough, you can make out its entire body, head, shoulders, arms and all. The phantom vanishes as quickly as it came, leaving the person standing by the side of the road wondering what they really just saw. A young woman was walking home late at night when she was met with a worst case scenario. Someone was following her. Posted to TikTok by Carolina Judah, the TikToker captures a montage of her journey from the foggy streets to the bus to a dark walk on her road home. A man is seen standing behind the bus stop. He is nothing but a shadow. She says she ignored him and just continued walking. Capturing a shot between her though, she finds that he's trailing her about 20 feet away. As the journey continues, he seems to be speeding up and in fact he gets closer. He appears to be wearing a hood. Carolina says he began shouting something at her and she thought he'd been drinking. He falls behind a ways and as soon as she rounds a bend, she sprints home. Although she couldn't see him anywhere when she arrived, 20 minutes later she heard the doorbell at the gate. She called her mom but there was no answer, and outside her window she spotted the man standing just outside the gate. The man later jumped the gate, crossed the garden, and tried yanking on the door handle. Carolina locked herself inside the bathroom waiting for her parents to arrive. He eventually stopped but she stayed put, too afraid to move. In the video's comments, TikTokers suggest not to walk home when you're being followed, but rather lead the stalker to someplace with people and or bright lights. This route looked like it had neither, so what should she do in this case? Any suggestions? Willard is hiking Horseshoe Falls in Colorado when he decides he wants to try to climb a cliff. The path is steeper than it looks and soon he has to put more of his weight on the rocks, which look kind of loose to begin with. Rushing waters are below him, and when he admits defeat and tries to climb back down, everything goes wrong. Whoa. A large rock comes loose and thankfully rolls the opposite way instead of onto his head. He wedges himself between two rocks and says that if he lost his footing, he could have been taken underwater. Meanwhile, his friend looks back with hardly a care. Overall, I'm just glad he didn't break anything or else it would have been a long and expensive airlift to the nearest hospital. This Chicago police body cam shows multiple officers rushing to save a man and his dog from freezing in Lake Michigan. From a distance, it looks like the distressed person is trapped on a snowbank at first. Sir! Someone over here! 
but as the officer approaches, you can see the person is actually waist deep in freezing waters and ready to go under. The officers quickly extend a rescue cord for him to tie onto, and they yank him to safety with one strong pull. Thankfully, they are able to do the same with the dog as well. I'm guessing that he was walking his dog along the edge of the water for a nicer view when the snow gave way. The cold water must have left him practically frozen from the waist down and unable to climb out. Let me know if you agree whether or not that's what probably happened. Redditor ZZZ747's neighbor's CCTV camera captured something strange, and they just want some answers. Watch the top right corner of the yard. A strange smoke figure drifts into view before curling up the side of the house and then vanishing completely. While it could be exactly what it looks like, smoke, it appears and disappears in a strange way. Watch again. Some in the comments think it's just someone vaping, others think it's a dryer vent. I think it could be either of these things, but I agree with the Redditor that it does seem to appear out of nowhere, and its behavior seems odd. What do you think it is? Outside of their apartment, a husband and wife capture a strange reflection in the window that is too curious to ignore. They grab an infrared camera, and this mysterious, unexplained video is what they've caught on tape. At the very beginning of this video, three seconds in to be precise, a full zoom does appear to have caught a possibly real ghost sighting on video in greater detail. You can discern a tuft of her white hair, the folds of her robe, her older looking face, and what direction she is facing. Theirs. As soon as they turn on the lights for a better look, the figure is gone. And when he switches the camera back into infrared mode, the mode he first detected the spirit with, it does not return. There's infrared. Right there on that curve. I know it. You know it, right on that side. It's back to normal. There's just nothing there. It's almost as if nothing was ever there to begin with, and yet the paranormal evidence caught on camera proves at one point there was. Maybe they were holding something up to the glass to make it reflect this image and took it away, though I don't know what that something would be. You're exploring a dark underground mine, water dripping, echo, silence, and then you hear this. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Resurrect. The Redditor was on an adventure through the Dissido Mine in Arizona when he heard what he describes as footsteps on wood coming from deep within the tunnel. He says he and his crew were the only ones there at the time. Would you hightail it out of there or wait to see who or what was approaching? While well, most in the comments are already racing for the hills, Redditor JD250 offers a potential explanation. He writes, When I was a kid, I lived up in Tennessee right on an old mine, used by the town for storing stuff in the early 1800s, and I would hear sounds like these. Although JD says that he doesn't personally believe in ghosts, he admits to sensing the presence of pain and suffering in a place. On another note, the Redditor felt angry and hostile vibes in the place and insisted that it felt like something terrible had occurred in that mine, and he didn't want to know what it was. He also notes that his stepfather felt he couldn't breathe at one point and not from overexertion. Do you think this could be explained naturally? Or is something haunting this mining tunnel? Wherever you stand, myself and most agree that this is one of the creepiest videos posted. We've all played Call of Duty, but what's it really like to be on the front line? 
This first person footage will give you an idea. The Famous World published this footage in January of 2018. The video, which is 25 minutes long, is filmed from the perspective of the driver of the US Humvee. You can see more vehicles in front and someone outside guiding the driver to position the Humvee as a blockade. The driver tells his commander that the opposing forces are taking fire, which you can hear in the background. You're looking, you're looking uh, south, right? Look where guns are firing. The driver then hops outside and fires in the direction of the opposing forces. Following some back and forth, the driver arms himself and crosses the desert in open view to cover his brothers in arms, one of whom is hurt on the ground. They load the man into one of the Humvees, and then there's a good amount of running back and forth between the barricade and the Humvee. At some point, they load up to head off. It's unclear whether the opposing forces stood down, but what is clear is the scary standoff was handled textbook by these men. While on a dirt road leading to a graveyard, this ghost hunter was hunted. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in October of 2021, he casts his flashlight around in the trees while walking through the darkness. After a while, he starts hearing strange noises. Is that a cacophony of animals or something else? As the ghost hunter continues, he rounds a tree to see this robed figure standing not far off. The figure is very still and seems to have a light cast on its face. The ghost hunter doesn't stick around a second longer. He takes off running. Did he narrowly escape this horrific fate? Was he about to become a sacrifice? I think he may have walked right into a scary ritual. A TikTok video gets really creepy when some scary moments are caught on tape. A ghost opens the door, or at least that's what this scary TikTok moment was, according to Shimei57, who is sitting on the floor of her apartment when someone enters unannounced. I don't hear any footsteps after the door opens, no bags getting put down, so maybe it was a ghost after all, but the scariest moment of all is yet to come. The laughter of a little ghost girl seems like it's coming from up close, and the creepy TikTok video abruptly ends. Either something paranormal has entered her house, or this video was edited to make it appear to be haunted. I think this video could be paranormal, but more evidence is needed to help me make a final decision. This YouTuber is fairly sure that he's captured a ghost on his dash cam when he's traveling down a suburban road and sees reflective lights on the right. Watch the parked car on the right to see what I mean. I personally think it looks like someone could be stepping into his line of movement here. It happens quickly, so I'll play it again in slow motion. Let me know if you see it. But when he pulls up to where the lights were, he and his friends are surprised to find nothing's there. Where did it go? They walk in front of the car, right? Yeah, it was like a wheelchair or something. Both of them swear they saw the lights and thought someone was crossing the street. I guess his headlights could have been reflecting off of the parked car, but then again, the angle doesn't exactly seem to match up. Let me know if you see it and what you think it could have been. If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Christina7658, the redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor after a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy who apparently wasn't really there. The bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. 
This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist-like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typer Active Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all too common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame, as one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? This man approaches a home, stands in place for 10 seconds without ringing or knocking, and then decides to rip the doorbell cam straight out of the wall for good measure. Notice how he pulls up his sleeves over his hands before doing so. Obviously, he is worried about leaving fingerprints, so he probably does stuff like this all of the time. My guess is that he wanted to get into the house when he noticed the doorbell cam and got scared. He probably thought that by taking the doorbell cam, he would get rid of any evidence that he was ever there, completely unaware that a live video gets sent straight to the person's phone automatically. This video was posted in November of 2018. So far, he has not been caught, but since the doorbell cams have a serial number, he can't resell it easily without getting busted. A person checks their CCTV to catch whoever busted their side view mirror. It's on the sidewalk side, and therefore absolutely absolutely couldn't have been a car. The video does not end at all as expected, when a phantom force snatches the mirror and gives it a twist. Then again, maybe a manufacturer's bolt or something came loose here at 2 seconds. Point is, I have never seen a car mirror do something like this all by itself before. Have you? A YouTuber named Angelo Black gathers some friends and together they head to a local tunnel that's rumored to get more terrifying and dangerous the farther down you go. They begin their journey with the goal of going deeper than anyone has dared to before. Laughing and joking at first, but soon growing more serious as they huddle close, banding together against a gnawing, claustrophobic dread that nobody wants to be the first to acknowledge. Eventually, they find a lonely portion of pipe that is next to no graffiti and bravely keep going. After traveling a great distance, they're now staring down an even narrower passageway that feels wrong enough to make all of them stop. One of them asks who's there, and this wild growl comes from the darkness within. Who's there? Before they even have time to react, the camera person thinks a face is looking at them, which I don't see, but I do hear this faint moan shortly afterwards. It's definitely coming from up ahead. The moan soon changes into the same growl again, even louder this time, that I think might actually be a rusty old drain pipe letting loose. Still, I wouldn't take any chances by sticking around, especially not after I heard this. Their phone mysteriously stops recording at this point, and they get out of there fast. But whether it stopped recording because of a low battery or because of paranormal interference has never been verified. A YouTuber named Jonathan senses something outside of his home and begins recording. He doesn't make it very far before he finds the source of his unease staring directly back at him. Okay, guys. So A small set of beady eyes in the darkness sends Jonathan running back into his home. I was positive it was just a cat until I noticed there are other eyes in the video too, like when he turns around here. Maybe Jonathan does have an overactive imagination and was frightened by a neighborhood cat. 
Or maybe he really is being watched in his own yard by an unseen network of nightmarish creatures. Clay of a paranormal YouTube channel called Time to Play TV is exploring the old Hamilton County Jail in Jasper, Florida on a ghost hunting investigation. Built in 1893, this haunted jail was in operation for 101 years. It is the resting place of many who are believed to have returned as wailing apparitions, slamming doors shut and turning on the lights. Some sections have been remodeled, and this guest bedroom is where you'll find a creepy possessed doll. As they are moving the creepy doll from its crib to the bed, a bizarre shadow goes ahead of them and disappears under the bed. Anyway, they sit her up and set up paranormal equipment to better investigate, and that's when the situation goes from strange to beyond creepy. 4 minutes and 27 seconds into the video is when they are able to convince a ghost to communicate through EVP equipment. Are you okay with us being in this room right now? Yes. Yes. Another yes. Yeah. I don't think these EVPs are pre recorded messages on a fake ghost hunting app because the scary voices continue to make sense and answer very specific questions in real time. Do you know who we are? Like, can you tell us our names? A little ghost girl's voice says something I can't understand. And as the creepy doll moves by itself, the scary voice of a little ghost girl screams right before the doll falls over. Oh my oh. gosh. The doll just That's been up for her. They sit the cursed toy upright and resume the paranormal experiment. If that was a spirit, can you make one of the uh, meters go off? Oh, whoa, whoa. Seen it? What? Oh, look at my meter. Many of the paranormal EVP they've caught on camera has been the voice of a child, so they logically infer that this could be a spirit of a child trapped inside of the doll. Are you a young spirit? Are you a child? Look, you see that? Somehow the doll creepily nods with agreement that it's possessed by a little girl, and then it presents them with some of the best paranormal evidence of the night. Well, I'm pretty sure that was you uh, that maybe moved the doll and did the K2 meter. Now we'd like to. Whoa! <laughs> oh my. The K2 meter just fell over. Somehow, upon the very mention of her paranormal equipment, her ghost meter, which is right by the doll's hand, falls over on its own, but the doll remains sitting up. Whatever this is, I think it's definitely paranormal and feeding off of their fearful energy. Oh my god, Clay, this is so creepy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> This time they put the doll leaning back at an angle where it's impossible for it to fall forward by itself, and yet as they continue to speak, the toy leans forward and turns towards them as if making eye contact. Who's making that doll move? I am. Is that I am? The more they talk, the stronger it becomes, and after a while the doll is falling clear off the bed. It's too bad that we couldn't get a wider angle to prove that the ghost hunters weren't touching anything when it fell over. I feel like Clay could have ran his hand under the pillow to make it fall over, but they sound genuinely surprised so I doubt it. Also, this final piece of paranormal evidence is enough proof in my mind that the Hamilton County Jail is quite haunted. They wait for their equipment to register movement and get nothing until they challenge it. Don't be shy or scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm. Oh. That works a lot. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is real because if you listen close, it beeps as soon as he says the word scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm. Oh. This place is 100% haunted. YouTuber Tomcat0031 captured a shadow figure streaking past the door on a floor that was empty at the time. You need no instruction on where to look. This one is hard to miss. Right, this is film in there. Right, both me and Joe seen a shadow go across this room here. Bub! 
Somebody's in there. Mate, I'll tell you what, you're doing a good job. The way it moves doesn't seem natural, and you don't hear footsteps. It's almost like it's gliding past. Yeah. Bob. Somebody's in there. Mate, I'll tell you what, you're doing a good job. Notice that you see the darkness move across the crack to the left of the door, and then you see a larger black darkness to the right of the doorway. The former looks more solid to me, which suggests that it's a solid figure, and the latter looks like a shadow being cast by that figure. Lastly, in the crack to the left, you see a figure move again in the other direction. This makes me think that whatever is there made a small circle around the room, and the way the light falls casts a shadow on the far right-hand wall for a moment, but whether whatever is there is paranormal or not is the real question. A viral TikTok video has millions wondering what kind of paranormal activity is going on at Holly Armstrong 20's haunted house. I guess she must have heard weird noises from her closet or something, because this scary moment caught on camera is terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my f The creepy doll moves all by itself, first clicking its tiny heels together and then lifting one shoe in the air. It looks like a weird paranormal moment, but I think I have this bizarre video figured out. Okay, pretend this red line is a string. They could have tied it to the doll's feet and then stretched it across the open door so that somebody could make it look like the doll's moving from off camera. So while this TikTok video looks like it's beyond creepy, I don't think it's necessarily paranormal. Or at least I really hope not. Children see creepy paranormal stuff all of the time, so it should come as no surprise when a parent sees a ghost around a child. A redditor named Roberto3 posted this creepy video of what he suspects could be a supernatural entity caught on his baby monitor late at night. On September 9th of 2020, his motion-activated baby monitor started tracking a tiny mysterious light that he is unable to explain. The unexplained light is caught on video for over a full minute before disappearing, never to be seen again. Some people say that this is dust while others are 100% sure this is a bug. Someone on Reddit says that here at 13 seconds you can even see the bug land on the camera and run across but I can't. <laughs> One thing we can agree on, nobody has been able to pinpoint exactly what this light is, so paranormal activity is not out of the question. Roberto3 has never seen anything like this before and has never seen the light return since. If it was something normal, you would think that it would happen at least one other time, but that's not all. He has on occasion captured other scary moments on camera, a weird mist as he calls it, one that seems to take the shape of a hand and reaches out for the ankle of his child. It looks like it's reaching over the crib to grab at the child, which is beyond creepy. Then the camera suddenly jerks to the right and tracks movement from something neither you nor I can see. I'm not saying that this is definitely a real ghost sighting. I'm just saying that it's really weird to keep seeing scary things over your child's crib at night that nobody on the internet can properly explain. And if his first instinct was that this could be something paranormal, then it probably is. When you're searching for ghosts, beware, you might just find one. Posted by DNA TV in September of 2019, this video is not for the faint of heart. The description reads, Lexi returns with Dave to one of the most haunted and active locations we have ever visited. From the moment we arrived, things kicked off and didn't stop till we left. To this day, this is some of the most intense paranormal activity we have ever encountered. The gripping 25-minute video keeps you on the edge of your seat as the pair explore the abandoned site. They note that the place has been slashed up and destroyed since they last visited. At the end of the video, they hear some noises that cause them to freeze in place. They decide to go and have a look. Throughout the video, some in the comments note hearing voices of disembodied entities.
At one point, they hear a footstep. Using an EVP, they ask the ghost if that was him walking next to Lexi. They get a yes from the ghost. If that was you, can you say yes? If you want to walk and talk with ghosts, this haunted site is a good place to start. There's something in this house, and they might be demons. Oh. The first one he captures on camera is pretty obvious, but he doesn't seem to see it. The second one is playing peekaboo. And the last one. Do you hear that roar? Well, I'm wondering what these creatures are. Most in the comments are chuffed at this dude's terrified scream. My vote is for demons, but it could be some other type of evil entity. Any ideas? If this video doesn't get your heart racing, it certainly did for this guy. His name is Daniel Stanley and he gets so pumped up that he can make his heart do this. Watch this and tell me if you know what medical condition this is called. I couldn't find much information on this person, aside from the name and his reputation for being able to make his heart race so hard, it nearly pops out of his chest. So please fill me in about his life if you happen to know more. Brian Wood is not home when somebody he doesn't know decides to enter his home in Bellin, New Mexico. All he can do is watch helplessly as they violate his home, walking out with item after item of things he's worked hard for. Knowing the police are on the way gives Brian some relief, but it doesn't do much good when somebody enters the same room as your pets and you have no idea what they intend to do to them. The intruder doesn't seem to care about his cat. He's done this many times before and is so at ease that he makes a phone call when he walks around a stranger's home talking to someone about the items he's taking while ransacking drawers and jacket pockets. By the time he's through, he's standing right in front of a security camera. He doesn't even seem phased or worried about getting caught as he palms it and leaves. Cops arrived minutes too late, but he was caught the next day. He makes no attempt to conceal his face or fingerprints, so I'm not surprised. If Brian didn't have this creepy encounter recorded on livestream, it would have been a lot harder. I would really like it if someone who speaks Spanish could tell me what this reporter is saying. He seems to be pointing at something moments before he has a scary encounter caught on live TV news. At 28 seconds, it looks like he thinks he's stepping into a shallow end, but apparently there isn't one to be found. Now he has dirty water in his eyes and needs help to get out, but to his credit, he holds onto the microphone the entire time. Talk about true job dedication. I'm glad they were able to pull him out because he might have had a hard time climbing up the muddy slope himself. I really hope he didn't swallow any of that water, because who knows what kind of bacteria is in it. Matt Petrez thinks this dark and empty hotel elevator looks strange, but he doesn't want to take the stairwell so he gets on anyway. It's a long and creepy ride in total darkness that does not end well. Matt knows he has made a mistake as soon as the door is shut, but it's too late to do anything other than stare at the numeric red panel as it counts down the floors. Then on the fifth floor this happens. Matt claims the elevator stopped moving and he was stuck for a long time. 
I guess he could have just covered the camera with his hands and made the story up, or maybe something bad really did happen on the fifth floor to cause this potentially paranormal elevator ride. This 2009 video is some of the earliest and most bizarre evidence of the weird and mysterious lights at the Skinwalker Ranch in Utah, which is considered a hotbed of paranormal activity all around. Perfect spheres of lights like this one often are sighted in the sky or sometimes on the ground. Strange lights that have never been explained. The mysterious lights don't look like anything made by a person because they are almost as tall as a tree and extremely wide, much bigger than even the largest of spotlights. This next video taken by the uploader's brother shortly after spending a day at the Skinwalker Ranch shows an object moving on its own in their basement. Swinging for 15 minutes now. More unexplained lights have been haunting his basement. Did something paranormal follow them home? A YouTuber named DK goes ghost hunting at 3 a.m. using a mirror in his home that's apparently haunted. He sets up a camera and waits until 3 a.m. Sure enough, the video glitches out and shows what appears to be someone's hand. Also, look in the mirror itself and you'll see a face looking to the left with its eyes closed. Let me know if you see it, and if so, what you make of this haunted mirror. This is a huge 10-foot fish. Even the locals don't even know what this is. This underwater discovery is scary to visitors and locals alike because never before have they seen such a strange sea creature sighting. It's unknown exactly when this video was taken. Somewhere in Mexico is the best I could find, but I can tell you what this is called. It's an oar fish, and it gets its name because it's roughly as long as a rowing paddle. Everyone is perplexed by what to them is a mysterious encounter. In reality, the oar fish looks twice as aggressive as a shark, but actually poses no harm to you unless you are underwater plankton. Its main diet strange appearance aside, there is one other reason to be afraid of this fish. According to Japanese folklore, or fish wash ashore when an earthquake is coming soon. Apparently it's happened so many times in the past that they've even done experiments to see if it's true. They weren't able to prove the myth true, but one lead scientist talked about changes in catfish behavior that have been observed up to 10 days before an earthquake. So if a catfish acts strange, before an earthquake, then an oar fish could too in my opinion. If anyone knows the date and location of this video then please tell me. That way I could look up any reports of seismic activity after this video was taken to see if the legends are true. Impending earthquake or not, seeing this creature wash ashore on a sunny day and not knowing what it was would be enough to make me grab my luggage and get the heck out of there. That's one freaky fish I'd rather not chance brushing across in the water. Water. This video was published to YouTube in July of 2007 with the title, Dragon Was Caught Sight Of By Infrared Rays. This video appears to show the ghostly smoky figure of a long creature fly through the air from the top to the bottom of the frame. Modern scholars suggest that crocodiles might be the closest to resemble a dragon and maybe what informed its imagery. Or maybe this creature is something else completely and just somewhat resembles a dragon. Nothing else like this has been caught on this security camera since. The David Livingstone Center is a reportedly haunted museum in Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Oh, shit, I when they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. 
Nobody is sure what the US forces are doing in this 2014 video taken from an undisclosed location somewhere in New Mexico apparently. Soldiers kneel down as a blast rips through the air. It looks like it hits nothing at all but then the edges of the ripple inward to reveal what could be the outline of a giant round invisible creature. Some people are claiming this is simply a drill using new technology we don't know about. Others say that this is not an exercise at all but rather a real desert battle with a creature. Listen to the noise it makes and tell me if you think this is the sound of a passing fighter jet or the terrifying roar of a real monster. Heather of Heather Hauntings is investigating a place known as the Shadow People Trail, a name that needs no further explanation. They go to the very end of the trail where the most paranormal activity is said to occur. Ghost radar first, because that one's been working oh, really yeah, good. Oh yeah, that one's been working really good. Okay. Whoa, what the f is that? It was loud. What the Oh my god, this place is so creepy. And it isn't long before they catch some creepy stuff on camera that leaves them scared. So, what the f was that? I don't know. Terror. Terror? Yeah, I'm creeped. The scary noises coming from the woods stop for a while, and Heather's group wonders if the shadow people have left. Watch the ghost radar screen when they ask the shadow people where they went. Where'd you go? Yeah, you were all over and now you're just gone. They leave a camera facing the direction of the noise and walk away. The camera starts to move on its own even though it is on a well-balanced tripod. Some shadows move in front of the camera at 14 minutes and 45 seconds and then the camera falls over. They've caught enough paranormal evidence on camera to convince me that this forest is as haunted and scary as the legends say. This couple is dedicated to, as their description states, the search of paranormal activity in places with terrifying histories, as is sometimes possible when investigating. Ghosts have followed investigators to their homes, and they believe someone they made contact with on a previous investigation did just that. On January 21st, 2021, they hosted a live stream to document what they believed was a haunting in their home. Hoping to document evidence and find answers, they invited the public to join on their session. The the first half of the investigation seems to produce little results, but something rather disturbing appears as they venture down the stairs. Through a glazed window overlooks the stairs, the figure of a woman can be seen staring towards the camera. At first glance, it can be easily mistaken for a painting, but when inspecting it closer, you can see there is actual 3D depth to it, something a painting would be impossible to have. The figure looks either like a woman with long dark hair or someone wearing a robe. To further prove it is not a painting, the same window is shown a few minutes later and the figure is gone. Furthermore, they venture outside to show the other side and it is several feet above the ground, making it impossible for anyone to get up there without a ladder. Nothing around the window resembles the figure as it has simply vanished. As they descend further down the stairs, an orb can be seen flying fast across the top left corner of the screen. Once they reach the bottom step, a loud, low exhale can be heard. The sound is too low pitched to be either of the couple, as we could hear them breathe beforehand and it doesn't match. It is also possible it was the sound of something sliding, although we cannot see what or if anything moves. Unfortunately, the remainder of the video becomes uneventful and other apparent orbs can be easily explained. For example, while they are filming a mirror, a glowing orb-like spectacle can be seen flying around. 
However, when the camera's light is turned off, it disappears, meaning it was simply a glare from the light itself. It's terrifying to imagine something becoming attached to you and following you back to your home. It's one of the risks when going on investigations, meaning it is not for the faint of heart. It also shows how there are more than just the physical dangers on these adventures, with even professional investigators such as Ghost Adventures suffering from severe states of paranormal oppression and even possession. It goes as a warning for those who decide to take up the cause for themselves. Take heed and be aware of what you are getting into, even if you are a skeptic or non-believer. Respect the locations you are visiting. Some videos are so terrifying that you may catch yourself holding your breath. Ryan Keelan and his friend Nick are checking out the Boca Raton Cemetery in search of two ghosts. One is named Mary and the other is only known as the Screaming Man. These two spirits are supposed to reside in the far western part of the graveyard, where terrifying shrieks can sometimes be heard according to local reports. Ryan and his friend hope to spend a full night in the cemetery. They get to the western part around sundown and start to experience signs of the paranormal almost instantly. This light's flickering. Look, see? No. Soon it becomes apparent that the lights are clearly turning off in front of them wherever they go, one light at a time. Oh, I wish. Oh. They are sure that Mary is trying to lead them somewhere, so they reluctantly follow using the lights as their guide. The lights continue to go out one by one until they stop at a place where they can feel her presence. Look at this part and let me know if you can see the dark silhouette of Mary's ghost on the wall. <gasps> oh, oh, A short while later, they both see something off camera and bolt. I think there's a good chance that their terror is real because, as you can see here, Nick is so scared that he doesn't even notice his phone fall out of his pocket. Ryan returns later with a second friend, Jesse, and they find themselves once again getting led by the lights. See, this is the light that was flickering last time. Yep, there it is again. He's all oh boy. This time, Ryan decides that this is too unnerving and opts not to follow. Who knows? Mary and the screaming man could have been waiting for them right around the corner. Anyone who's ever pulled a prank knows that it can quickly go too far. No one more so than YouTuber FaZe Rug. In a prank video posted in December of 2017, FaZe Rug writes, Today I decided to do the scariest prank I've ever done, and we took it a little too far. She ended up crying, but the prank was a success. Just how scary was this prank? Well, imagine chatting and watching TV with your cousins when you hear a knock on your second floor balcony window. Ryan had climbed a ladder to the roof in order to pull off this prank, and it proved successful as his targets jumped in fear at the noise. But that wasn't the end of it. Ryan next shakes the handle of the balcony door in a frenzy, causing the trio to race from the room. <laughs> He hops to another balcony, slamming on the door as well. New, the girl being pranked, then calls Ryan, asking where he is and telling him there's someone outside the home. Ryan claims to be getting food and seemingly happy that he made New so distressed. He tells her they're on their way, donning a freaky mask. Ryan? What? Ryan, where are you? We're getting food, why? Ryan knocks on the window one last time before hopping to the opposite balcony and bursting through the door that they had previously unlocked. <laughs> Seeing the masked intruder reveal that he's actually their cousin, the boys laugh the prank off, but New looks clearly pretty upset about it. 
Would you be able to find this funny? Or would the stoking of your fear and adrenaline go too far? This trail camera captures some deer grazing when one of them pauses as if something is nearby. They look directly at the camera, and in that moment, a phantom pair of eyes move in the opposite direction. I was thinking that this could be a camera glitch that somehow reflects the deer's eyes back at an angle, but the eyes can be seen briefly again at the 12 second mark, and this time it looks like the deer notices and stares directly at them with more curiosity than fear. There are also plenty of other movements where the deer is looking at the camera without the phantom eyes present, so it might not be the equipment after all. Could this be an unknown flying creature like the uploader seems to think? Some cultures believe that the forest itself develops a living spirit to watch over the creatures within, so maybe that is what we are all witnessing here. The CCTV video comes from an unnamed museum after hours. First, you can see the turnstile move on its own, as if someone has been granted admission. Next, the turnstile suddenly stops, and you can see the clear outline of a figure as it makes a brisk exit. I'm not quite sure what to make of this footage, but many people think it could be real, since museums are often filled with ancient artifacts that could be haunted. A man at work accidentally locks himself in a large attic. He's trying to open the door when he hears a strange noise and decides to start recording. He thinks out loud that it could be a rat or a pipe as he cautiously continues to film. I'm getting kind of a spooky vibe up here. Right there. There it is again. Soon he realizes that the strange thump is coming from the very top of some steps that he has never seen before. He climbs the steps and suddenly feels like he is no longer alone. Hello? Apparently, he was right. Whoa! Something clatters to the ground and sends him running down the steps. I'm not sure how he managed to get out, but when he did, I'm sure he was glad he had plenty of video evidence to back up his claims. This YouTuber takes his girlfriend on an adventure to go exploring a tunnel that's said to be quite haunted. The Blue Ghost Tunnel in Ontario is close to a graveyard that was not properly relocated and still has hundreds of unmarked burial sites. Well near the entrance, Jack hears strange sounds in the sky that sound like a train horn, but there's just one problem. I don't know if the camera could pick this up, but listen in the background. Trains would derail so often that the tunnel was soon condemned, so I have no idea what that sound was. When they get through the boarded up entrance, from deeper in the tunnel comes the voice of a little ghost girl calling for help. It could just be a squeaky piece of machinery, but I don't think so. Hello? A mysterious light way far ahead makes them both leave quick. You can see it comes from way too far ahead to be a part of their equipment, and besides that, they claim to not even have flashlights anyway. I don't know why you would go exploring a haunted tunnel without a flashlight, but I guess they weren't intended to go very far. Little did they know they wouldn't even make it past the entrance without getting freaked out. This video, posted in November of 2013, purports to show found footage of a graveyard sighting. The clip opens on a headstone, reading Maria Melgar. A cross made of punched out holes is centered in the stone, making one man wonder aloud what was supposed to be placed in the holes. The cameraman zooms out, capturing his friend pointing in the distance. He says that's where the grave is. They zoom in closer on the figure. It does appear to be tall and slender, and apparently is standing right in front of the cameraman's brother's grave. The figure is dressed in a suit, seems to be bald, and has an extremely pale face. Is this slender man? Or just some creep in a cemetery? I guess we'll never know for sure. Humanoids apparently come in all different sizes. The one in this video is mistakenly labeled as a goblin, though it looks completely human except for its height.
The supposed goblin in this video is shorter than one brick tall. It peeks around from behind a wall and quickly disappears once it sees the camera. The camera follows it to the other side of the wall and finds a tiny hole that the humanoid must have escaped into. If it wasn't for the video, the supposed goblin would not have left a trace behind. Kenny Brown, 17 posted this video of his dog Lola sensing a ghostly presence in his home in 2013. At the start of the clip, the dog is seen backing nervously out of the kitchen into the hallway. It then turns to walk out into the hall. The dog is a tripper, the YouTuber says. There's something in the kitchen that's freaking her out. He goes into the kitchen to investigate, and there seems to be nothing at all. The dog peeks her head out from the hallway again and her owner says that she wants to eat, but she's too paranoid to enter the kitchen. What is she seeing in there? She then walks cautiously around the corner and lays on her dog bed in the living room. She lays there for a time, but then gets up and heads into the hallway once again. She creeps back into the kitchen and looks as though she may be over her fear. Watch, she's back out. Look. and she eats a bit of her food, but the courage lasts only a moment as the dog again cautiously walks backwards out of the kitchen, looking fearfully at something. She darts back into the hallway. She heads back in again to eat more of her food, only to back out again, looking the whole while at the same spot. She cannot remove her eyes from whatever is making her so fearful. She looks around the corner one last time, but won't risk going in there again. So what is Lola afraid of? Some in the comments section of this video think it's the frequencies in the television that are affecting her. Both make sense, but likely only one is the real answer. A YouTuber named Stromedy and his friend journey into a maze of tunnels deep underground to conjure the spirit of a girl who supposedly had her life forcibly taken down there long ago. They don't appear to be very serious in the beginning, but their attitude soon changes when they think they've summoned a relatively friendly spirit named Abby. Then roughly nine minutes into the video, they feel another presence enter and this happens. Oh, oh dude, it's doing figure eights again. What? Can you stop? Can you please? Yeah. Holy. That's freaking That's crazy. creepy. I'm gonna ask him. Whoa! Whoa! They briefly consider leaving, but then Kyle volunteers to look through the middle of the pointer instead. Earlier, Abby said whoever does this will be able to see her true form. Kyle bravely puts the pointer to his eye and peers into the unknown. Kyle, you there, bro? Kyle. Dude. Dude, seriously. Dude. Oh, let's just go. Let's go back. I know what you mean now. Let's go back. Did you see her? What'd you see? Let's go grab the board and let's go. I think his reaction seems fairly genuine, but let me know if you agree or not. Lord British LP is standing on his porch as a big storm rips through his neighborhood. His internet is down, so he records a video about nothing in particular to help pass the time. That's when he temporarily goes blind. <laughs> A bolt of lightning hits the street lamp in front of his house and fills his vision with whiteness. He runs cursing into his house to get away. It's easy to miss, so I circled the street lamp that was struck by lightning to give you a better look at just how close he came to being literal toast. This odd and mysterious sighting in the sky has been viewed online by hundreds of people who have been unable to provide a proper explanation. The strange object floats from behind a tree and travels very fast. The oddly long shape does not look like a drone sighting to me, and it doesn't have any lights or identifying features. It's too far away to tell what it is for sure, but at the same time, it's close enough to tell that it's beyond creepy. This Snapchat video was taken at a school in Esterville, Iowa. You can see a deer standing outside looking very confused before it suddenly tries to get in without warning. Watch out. <laughs> oh. 
Clearly, the zombie deer wants to get inside however it can, searching around the sides of the glass for an opening, before giving up and resuming its confused, vegetative state. Those inside are lucky that this deer is too small to break the glass. If this was a full-grown deer running at them, things could have been much different. Hopefully, they contacted animal control and thoroughly disinfected this door before letting anyone touch it. This mysterious footage was captured on camera by videographer Daniel Hobbit back in 1989, shared by YouTube channel This Is The End. The mystery continues. Watch for the black mass. You can't miss it. Invited to a haunted home by a frightened couple who live there, Hobbit captured this strange shadow figure in one corner of the room. Video in the home of a very frightened couple, convinced they were living with a disturbed. While panning the camera, Hobbit also captured this in the mirror. Hobbit even caught the apparition reflected in a mirror. This shot persuades many top researchers that we are witnessing a real. According to the channel, the family moved from this home soon after. The footage has convinced some YouTubers of paranormal activity, and others have even experienced something similar. Given that this was recorded on VHS at a time where CGI would have been rare, I'm sold that this is real paranormal activity captured on camera. What do you think? A London vacation goes from romantic to horrifying for a YouTube channel called YouTube Vlogs when everyone begins running at once at a train station. You can feel the panic taking over as multiple people shout the same questions without any clear answer. What's going on? What's happening? YouTube Vlogs separates from the stampeding crowd and escapes only by scrambling over a dumpster and climbing a fence to safety. Notice how only younger people are able to do this. Those less mobile were sadly left behind in the chaos. It later turns out that the evacuation was caused after a vapor device accidentally blew up inside of someone's suitcase. It's crazy to think how a tiny malfunction could have caused thousands of people to run for their lives. If everyone had somehow remained calm, maybe more information about this event could have been passed on instead of panicking. A YouTuber named Justin Brown has been seeing odd-looking people living in tents near his hometown in Lone Pope, California. He is too nervous to investigate the situation in person, so he sends his drone over for a closer look. Imagine Justin's surprise when he discovers an entire colony of strangers living on a riverbed less than a mile from his home. He has no idea who they are, what they want, or why they are so close to a suburban neighborhood, which doesn't seem particularly special in any way. Also, no one can seem to figure out what this mysterious blinking blue light is. Take a look at the way it keeps flashing persistently and tell me what kind of technology you think it could be. Maybe together we can figure out who lives here and their purpose. This video, taken by a paranormal investigator named Daryl James Godsey in an 1800s California graveyard, might capture the ghost of a child as it rises from its resting place. Daryl sets up the motion camera and gives it a test by waving his arms. As he does so, a long anomaly appears briefly and disappears. Notice how its odd shape seems to connect all the way down to its tombstone, if only ever so briefly, and then it's gone. It might simply be the image of a bug flying close to the lens, but literally one second after it's gone, this paranormal detection equipment lights up as soon as it leaves the frame. Are these two back-to-back -back events pure coincidence or absolutely paranormal? You tell me. Haunting Jersey uploaded a YouTube video of a girl performing various different gymnastics exercises in her kitchen along with a friend of hers via a Skype or FaceTime call. The two perform one move complementing each other, then move on to the next, but what started off as a fun and innocent way to pass the time quickly turns into something frightening. Did you guys see that? So it's right here beside the blender. Yes, right here, this object. It's a paper towel holder, I believe. 
and obviously terrifies this poor girl here. And it gets the attention of even the person that she's on FaceTime with. The paper towel holder just now. Whatever, it's fine. And right as soon as she's back to just brush it off as, you know, whatever, don't know what happened, don't care, this thing right over here falls to the ground and just shatters absolutely everywhere. And I feel like if these were both on strings, wouldn't the paper towel holder have knocked that off at the same time? Because both the strings would kind of need to be in the same area. Understandably scared because she just saw something go flying across the room. The girl Girl proceeds to ask her friend if they saw it too, to which they respond, saying that they did and they mention it sounded loud as well. Amazingly though, the girl is actually able to shake it off any sort of fears she may have had by saying everything is fine and she continues on with more exercises. But when it happens for a second time, she immediately runs for the camera and turns it off. Hopefully this was the first and last time this happened to this poor girl. And hopefully if it did persist, they got out of this house. Throngs of people gather in the mountain province of Guizhou, China to witness strange trumpet sounds in the sky. As you listen, tell me what this is and why it would happen way out in the middle of nowhere. The group hears four strange noises in a row, and yet none of them actually sees anything scary in the sky. But that's not all. The phenomenon known as sky trumpets is only the first phase. Soon the mountain range is filled with the sounds of a giant unknown creature, an enormous wildcat that's heard all over but seen by no one. <laughs> and the final phase sounds like two giant creatures clashing. There's a clear victor, and one of them sounds like they are falling from the sky. Modern science cannot explain what's behind these noises. Which makes me wonder if there's any semblance of truth behind the various ancient mythologies that speak of similar events. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. This TikTok posted by Diego Speckers is yet another example of that. Just watch. Wow, that's pure nightmare fuel. What was that child doing there, amongst the hanging laundry? <laughs> its black inky eyes are a real giveaway. This thing's a demon. As the person backs off, you see it again for a split second in the gap. But there's nothing below for this thing to stand on. Don't know about you, but I think this is the real deal. Definitely a demon. Another reason to leave 3 a.m. to the owls. According to the legend, there are many different ways to summon Bloody Mary, which means that the method you choose could change what happens to you. The person in this video uses a slightly different method that I've never seen before. Instead of spinning around three times and then saying Bloody Mary, she says Bloody Mary once after each spin. This is the end result. Her face becomes smeared and she quickly darts out of the room. If this video is real, then it appears that Bloody Mary somehow removed all of her facial features, perhaps as a warning. A small kayak is completely dwarfed by an enormous shark that's not too far away. The shark begins to turn towards the kayaker and make a pass at them. Though it's unclear whether the shark was hungry or just curiously investigating its surroundings. Either way, the uploader of this video estimates the shark to be over 40 feet long based on the average size of a kayak. 
Sometimes being deep underwater can make objects look much bigger than they really are. However, here you can see that the shark is close enough to the surface for its fin to break the water, so its size is not being exaggerated at all. From what I understand, sharks don't usually come to the surface unless they see something of interest, so maybe it really was going to eat the kayaker. I'm not sure about the geographic location of this video, but it appears to have been taken from some sort of helicopter, perhaps one belonging to the National Coast Guard of whichever country is claiming these waters as its territory. Unfortunately, the video ends before we get to see the kayaker's fate. Of course, this uploader could just be skilled at video editing. Let me know what you make of this one. On September 24th, 2016, Corey McKeague went missing around the area of Bury St. Edmunds and Suffolk, England. This CCTV footage published in October of 2016 to YouTube by hashtag FindCorey shows the serviceman's last known movements. From one angle, he is seen somewhere meandering down the road, not walking a straight line. He passes two men and appears to drop something on the ground which he quickly picks up before continuing on. Another camera view shows him walking casually around a corner with his hands in his pockets. The town center footage shows McKeague enter a cul-de-sac with wheelie bins in it. This is where he was last seen. His mobile phone was tracked from this cul-de-sac to a landfill. At first, the police weren't planning to search for the missing man there, as the garbage truck along that route was only estimated to be carrying 33 pounds. Later, however, they discovered the weight was around 220 pounds. The 2.1 million euro investigation has not yet turned up Corey, although authorities believe that the missing man was crushed by a garbage can and that his passed away body is somewhere in the landfill, and some theories suggest foul play, but regardless, his disappearance remains a mystery. The search for Corey McKeague continues. An instructor records himself and his students for a teacher evaluation. He's giving a lecture about safety when some strange activities start to happen. About what dangers might we fix it. Stephen, don't do that please, it's distracting. That's one thing, someone give me another one then. Strangers. Right, what we're going to do, we, uh, we need to, uh, I, t I tell you what guys, um, let's, let's just go out for a minute. Um. By now the class is in mild shock as they awkwardly line up and leave. According to the description of this video, later on they would say that they felt a strange static electricity in the air and a tingling sensation in their faces. After they leave, the possible haunting seems to continue for quite some time. Finally, the camera is knocked to the ground by an unseen force and the video ends. A YouTuber named Rose of Decay records a scary Snapchat face swap video that leaves her wondering if she had a real ghost encounter. Hi. Are you bad? What's really creepy is how this mirror image kind of has her eyes, but at the same time they're all black. The bizarre face goes away for a while and then comes back as soon as she has a question. Can you talk to me? This time the apparition has its mouth open wide as if screaming. It's probably just a software glitch detecting a face in the mirror that isn't there. So I don't think it's necessarily real, but I don't see anything that remotely looks like a face. So hey, that's real enough to me. Seeing an alternative version of yourself scream while no one is there is definitely creepy nonetheless. Abnormal Alabama is all about discussing the weirdest and scariest things imaginable, and this is probably one of their most frightening videos. These creepy dolls are said to be possessed by something paranormal according to their owner, Kevin Kane, the man in the white shirt, and they aren't afraid to show it. When the host is busy talking about his own bizarre experiences with the haunted dolls. The creepy dolls provide the best paranormal evidence right in front of the camera. They had all kinds of dolls that were haunted, were supposedly haunted. Um, they had um, death masks. They actually had a um, the cap they would put. 
Not only are the creepy dolls caught on tape moving, which is scary enough, but if you look closely, you'll see one doll moves its eyes first. Its eyelids briefly twitch before the doll moves by itself. I also wanted to point out as a counterpoint that the dolls could be falling over because of how they were positioned. At 20 seconds, Kevin leans back and the other guest moves his laptop. So maybe they bumped the table and accidentally made it look like the dolls were haunted and moving on their own. Or maybe not. A suspicious looking man is all eyes as he creeps up to a luxury hotel room in India. At 22 seconds, the intruder looks into the window and contemplates doing something terrible to whoever's inside. His hand goes up to his mouth like he's uncertain. Maybe he is having a change of heart, but more realistically, he's probably noticing how many cameras there are in this hotel and finding someplace else. Even though he doesn't follow through, this is probably one of the creepiest looking disguises I've seen someone wear. I can only imagine how terrified hotel workers were when whoever was inside complained and they checked the cameras only to see floating eyes. Hopefully he never comes back. Jim Lin is visiting Harbin, Japan and now faces bowl after bowl of gourmet insects. The pressure is on to sample the culture by eating as many different dishes as he can. At 4 minutes and 1 seconds, the juices of a plump cicada hits the back of his throat with a loud squirt. The insides look wet and green and not like something I would look forward to trying. How would you even tell if this was cooked right? But there's still more bugs to eat. This oversized grasshopper looks more like a crayfish. They are in a busy market with music and people having conversations everywhere. And yet the crunch is louder than anything else going on. When in Rome, do as the Romans do is an age-old expression that means you should follow the rules of other cultures in their country. But I don't think everyone could handle this bug buffet. It may just make your jaw drop. This footage comes from somewhere in the Middle East. A group of teenagers are curiously exploring an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again as they make their way down a long hallway. They open a door and find graffiti on the wall. Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Zobin Jaguar translated their comments. He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. They enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards them. The ghost is missing his head, but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them but this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, which explains why they calmly continue to keep exploring. They wouldn't see the apparition until much later, but when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. Sylvian Nicholas has a motion sensor camera that turned on momentarily to catch this strange airborne entity as indicated by the green box. Take a look again in slow motion and tell me if this was a spirit orb, a giant speck of dust, a bug, or something else altogether. A video of a human torso walking upright is probably one of the scariest home CCTV moments I've ever seen caught on tape. The main reason it looks so terrifying is because this is mostly a marionette puppet instead of CGI, which requires more work but looks more realistic. Somebody is most likely pulling its strings from above to make it walk, or at least I hope so. A boy waves to the camera shortly before throwing a pass that his dad does not catch. As dad goes to get the ball, he unknowingly travels towards a random spiral of gusting winds. 
Everyone quickly backs off, but it happens too fast to even get out of the pool in time. Some people excitedly cheer as the water spout throws a random object really high into the air. One man is helpless to do anything other than hang onto the edge of the pool as it moves over them at 17 seconds. Fortunately, they seem to be fine after. And just when it looks like things have gone back to normal, A group of chairs break apart. At least that's what it looks like at first, but it's probably just some towels getting flung around. This is a low-key terrifying moment caught on tape for sure, especially when you are relaxing on vacation and have your guard down. If you've ever been in a bug swarm of any kind, you'll know it can give you chills. This mayfly swarm is no different. In fact, it's practically nightmarish. When the mayflies took over this bridge in Iowa, snowplows were required to unblock the swarm buzzing in the bridge's path. In fact, the bridge had been so completely swarmed by the bugs that emergency crews were sent to the area. The nightmare scene turned into a scary situation after bikers tried to plow through the massive heap of mayflies but lost traction. Luckily, they escaped. The bridge's clearing was recorded by Tina Franzen as she rode along in her son's police car. Franzen said of the event, I've lived in Sabula since 75. I've never seen that many before, ever. To clear the bugs over the following weeks, it was decided by the Iowa Department of Transportation to keep the streetlights off near the bridge as the lights attract the mayflies. Here's hoping it all worked out for Iowa. They don't need any more of this nightmare fuel. Empty roads at night can be quite sinister, especially when this happens. Posted to TikTok, Leslie Alexis writes that she and her sister went out to get ICs at 2.30 in the morning. When they arrived at the first stoplight on the way out of their neighborhood, it was green, but the white truck waiting at the light didn't budge. The pair beeped, but it still didn't move. They eventually went around. They went and got their ICs and returned home. On their way back, the car was still sitting at the light. They passed it, pulled a Yui, and drove by again, trying to see if there was anyone inside, but the windows were too tinted. Some in the comments were worried the driver might have had a medical emergency. Others think that they just fell asleep or passed out at the wheel. In part two of the video series, Leslie explains that they returned home and told their mom, and she drove them back to the stoplight. Once there, the car was gone. It was 3 a.m. Coincidence? Maybe. But it makes you wonder what exactly happened here. A TikToker called Upbeat Yamaha is traveling a normal speed and is surprised when this truck abruptly pulls over to let him pass, then begins to mysteriously speed up to follow him. Upbeat Yamaha gets paranoid and pulls over in a neighborhood to watch the white car pass. But when he pulls out in the main road, the white truck slows down and deliberately pulls over again. Okay, now what is this truck seriously doing? Nothing looks wrong with his car, so for some reason he must be watching this biker. Now he is getting freaked out at this point and pulls over one more time, but as you can see the truck stays at a stop sign and refuses to turn until he goes first. This part confirms to me at least that the truck is absolutely following him and not going to give up anytime soon. The vehicle keeps appearing in the strangest of places, and I personally think upbeat Yamaha should have called the authorities at this point, but he doesn't and is eventually followed to where he lives. The police later show up at his house because for some reason his bike was reported as missing. It was almost certainly the man in the white truck who called it in. Though why he thought the bike was taken to begin with, let alone felt compelled to follow someone all the way to their home, is something this video cannot explain. A team of ghost hunters are using a modified Kinect camera to capture paranormal presence in the historic Houghton Mansion in North Adams, Massachusetts. It was once owned by a wealthy businessman, but has since been converted to a Masonic temple and is believed to be haunted by otherworldly spirits. The person in green is one of the hunters, but listen to what they hear.
What was that? Yeah, what was that? that? Was weird. I was walking. No, 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 it was a voice. Yeah. Yes, that was a girl's voice. Yeah. It was a girl's voice. Absolutely, Absolutely. a girl's voice. Oh, I didn't even hear it. You can really hear the voice when you put headphones on. Anyway, I think this video is real because in fake videos, they tend to talk one at a time and not all at once. But in this video, everybody convincingly talks over each other and reacts with genuine surprise. I'd like to hear what you think though. A synagogue in Ukraine captured something absolutely creepy and mysterious. A brilliant ball of light floating ominously near the synagogue wall. The authentic video shows the ball of light floating down to hover, swaying back and forth slightly in one place. It stays there for a moment, glowing its mystery until it flies upward again, disappearing forevermore. The ball of light isn't a perfectly circular orb. In fact, it looks almost gelatinous as its shape changes slightly in its hovering, with protuberances bulging slightly here and there. So what is this light? What could it be? Scientists are baffled and can't seem to find any explanation for it, leaving explanations up to popular opinion. These opinions range from a lightning ball to a reflection of infrared light to someone's very soul. Jewish people were ordered to gather here before they were sent off to camps in WW2, so the possibility of it being someone's soul looks promising. I wouldn't be surprised if souls abounded here. The truth is, we'll likely never know what was the source of this light, and we probably weren't meant to know. This homeowner in Montgomery, Texas catches a stranger in distress on their doorbell cam. It's about 3 in the morning when a woman frantically rings the bell at the Sunrise Ranch subdivision. Look again and you'll notice what could be shackles dangling from both of her arms, suggesting this person could have been taken captive and recently freed themselves. The sheriff's department is worried that this woman may have been running for her life and trying to get help from the nearest home. Police released this video in August of 2018 hoping for anonymous tips, but so far no one has come forward with any explanation as for who this woman is or what happened to her on that fateful night. No one can say for sure. A paranormal YouTube channel called Northwest Ghost Adventures claims his haunted attic has the most ghost activity out of anywhere in the UK. Here are two of the best examples of paranormal evidence. On February of 2018, the Northwest Ghost Adventures channel made a breakthrough EVP session with a possessed doll named Lily. Three times in a row, the same male voice speaks through the spirit box. Hi, spirits. Yeah, I'm okay. Can you tell me, tell me the name of this doll? My name's Lily. I think it even starts talking backwards here, which is something I've never heard a spirit box even do before, and also possibly evidence of a demonic ghost EVP caught on camera. The ghost hunter administers some more paranormal experiments, and Lily the possessed doll passes them all. Can you show us an all, please? Thank you. Can you show me your orbs? A month later, he claims to have been possessed while investigating. He spends the night in his haunted attic, and his eyes open when the spirit box says awake. Awake. Uh. Awake. Uh. He looks around in a trance-like state for some time. Notice how the ghost meter stays maxed out for over a full minute, beginning at 1 minute and 7 seconds, and continuing until the moment his head hits the pillow at 2 minutes and 26 seconds, at which point the lights go out entirely. As if the demon has left. Was I possessed, he later asks. And I think most of us will agree that yes, he was. Abdullah al Bari is followed by what he describes as a ghoul when he explores an old neighborhood that was abandoned long ago. His stalker appears to be a silhouette, even under a high-powered light that brightens everything around it. Bismillah. It could be someone wearing long flowing robes, or it could be a shadow person. Maybe it's just me, but the ghoul looks much bigger here at 5 minutes and 54 seconds when he sees it again. 
When it pokes around the corner at 8 minutes and 3 seconds, it seems much larger than the average sized person. Even from down this long hill, you can see this figure is indeed tall and strong looking too, as it lumbers ahead. It looks like the creature is going to follow him all the way home, if he lets it. So Abdullah recites a phrase, at which point the ghoul recoils from the sacred words, or perhaps more realistically, ducks under the window and is not seen again. Was this all planned, or did a phantom really spontaneously follow him? Ready to activate your night terrors? Posted by Acid Gatter to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the Redditor writes, Think this is fake but still scared the living blank out of me at the end. Originally published to YouTube by Leadbelly in June of 2011, the uploader claims that something's watching him. In the video, the man says that this is the third night this week that he's heard something. Then you hear it too. An irritating groaning is coming back from the bathroom. Redditor Philco79 writes in the comments that it sounds like a Tauntaun, which is a non-sentient lizard from Star Wars. The man follows the sound there and finds that the bathroom is empty, or so he thought. He turns the corner to capture this. The demon face does indeed appear brunt or like a frozen plastic mask, but somehow uncannily real at the same time. In the comment thread, Acid Gatter says he came across this video when he was researching shower demons because he senses a presence every time he closes his eyes in the shower when the curtain is closed. Redditor, after seeing this video, I'm pretty freaked out about a potential shower demon too. Two men from northern Georgia are having some fun and celebrating in the forest. They begin to hear screeches coming from the wilderness surrounding them. At first they are concerned, though they brush it off, but it soon becomes apparent that whatever is making these noises is coming closer and closer to them. Soon a figure appears out of the darkness, who looks to be covered in red stains. They flee in the other direction, which was certainly the smart thing to do. While well, most think this is a humanoid creature of some kind, I think it might be a deranged person who is hiding out in the forest. What the? What the? He probably thought these guys were too close to his hideout and gave them a big scare to make sure they never returned. What do you think of this theory? A YouTube channel called Sanders Fam has a bizarre sighting on their Tesla motion tracking equipment that they think is a paranormal ghost encounter. <gasps> the dash icon displays a mysterious figure where none is to be found. Detecting invisible people is something their car has never done before and is quite an odd coincidence considering they're passing through a cemetery at the time. It accurately detects two people a good distance away at 3 minutes and 39 seconds. It keeps happening on the same corner of the same block, the icon of someone riding a bike dashing away from them. There it is! They are getting creeped out and wonder what it is. That's when they realize around the corner is the final resting place of a YouTuber named Corey Lavery. They talk about him for a while and then as they drive away... There's nobody what? there. Now he's walking that way. Something walks by his grave. Now that is certainly a strange series of events. I'm being followed. <laughs> Have you ever got the feeling that you were being followed? What if it were true? A YouTuber published this video of his experience being stalked in Japan in February of 2011. In the video, he explains that when he turned on his camera, this female stalker became interested in what he was up to, so she started following him. Despite his rather roundabout route, which he was using to try and lose her, you can see the woman over his shoulder. Dressed all in black in a long coat with very pale skin, 
To make matters scarier, it's raining. The gloominess results in heightened fear. So what is this woman doing? Why is she following some random stranger in the street? Some even speculated that this man was in serious danger. Whoever she is, I'd get out of there, and fast. A YouTuber named Signs and Signals goes ghost hunting at an old abandoned church he used to attend years ago. You know, this seems kind of creepy. I had some spooky things going here when I was a little kid. I've had strange feelings here when I was little. Things start to get weird when he enters the main area. I'm gonna try my best not to get the windows as much as possible just to keep from anybody pulling up because that won't possibly anybody on the camera. Why is my camera spazzing? His camera is glitching out in a very rhythmic pattern, and it doesn't look like he's messing with the zoom at all. Eventually, he gets it straightened out just in time for the strange sighting to be caught on camera. There's no way to tell if this is one of the ghost hunters or an actual phantom sighting, but since the camera goes out of focus in a really weird way, I think it could possibly be paranormal. This moment is now infamous in the streaming community and has been talked about years ago on Top 15s, but for those who weren't aware, Zillion OP who streamed on Twitch appeared to be paraplegic and enabled his viewers to donate money to him, but in April 2013, generous donors and viewers alike got the shock of their lives when this gamer stood from his wheelchair, likely forgetting that he was streaming. Most had believed the gamer to be completely immobile, according to what they'd seen on prior streams. Needless to say, viewers turned on him and were rightfully angry about being misled. Zillion's girlfriend can be heard in the video when she realizes and begins rambling with a random story about taking their dogs to the fish shop, whatever that is. Our dog, our dog. oh my god, we took our dog, um, like to the fish shop today. She continues talking as somebody, likely Zillion, turns the camera downward. Both Zillion OP and his girlfriend had their accounts closed for violating Twitch's terms of service when the website Kotaku requested a statement from Twitch. They went on to say that subscribers would be given refunds. There's a road in Corton, Switzerland that defies all explanation according to some, and a lot of people have been nervously checking it out. Here's the deal, if you go to this stretch of mountainous highway on Google Maps, it looks pretty normal at first, but don't look up unless you want to scare. This is when the scenery goes from pleasant to mysterious. That's because peeking out from the sky is what appears to be a strange pink red monument, or else some kind of giant being with its arm held out. You can click up and down any part of this road and still look up to find whatever this strange anomaly is gazing down from above. Some people say this sky sighting is a creature, but I have a much more rational and less exciting explanation. I'm pretty sure this is part of the pole on top of the car that the camera is attached to. Normally this part of the car is edited out, but I guess some kind of glitch in their algorithm let a piece of it show. As a result, it looks like something suspended high above. That's my theory at least. Let me know if you agree, or if you think this really was some kind of strange sighting in the sky. Oh, man, I'm in a two way tunnel right now, man. If you f down now, don't do it! He's moving! A YouTuber named Tristan R is trapped in a tunnel when he sees his worst fear creep across his visor, a spider. There's nowhere to pull over, so now he has to keep one eye on the spider to make sure it doesn't land on him, and one eye on the road to make sure he doesn't cause a pileup. He finally is able to get out and pull his visor down. To show us a spider was in fact dangling over his lap by a thread this whole time. It might not look like much to most of you, but for anyone who has a major fear of spiders, it's large enough. He pulls away thinking that he's seen the last of them, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are hundreds more inside. A YouTube channel called The Real Revealed goes to Sanjay Van one of the most haunted woods in all of India. To top it off, they decide to wait until 3am before ghost hunting. I'm not so sure about this supposed first encounter though. They say this is the sound of a spirit, but I think it's just the cameraman breathing. 
ऊपर की तरफ ऊपर की तरफ देखा हूँ मैं एक बार The next voice, however, sounds much different, and I agree, could be paranormal. It sounds distant, almost like a radio, but they are in the middle of nowhere and wouldn't get reception out here. Translate what is being said by them if you can. I may not know what they're saying, but I do see this light appear as soon as this strange voice is heard. It's probably a bug, but if it's not, then this is a coincidence worth mentioning. The voice trails off a short while later, and they aren't able to hear it again or find the source. I think they probably really did make contact with the supernatural, but I will reserve my final verdict until after someone is able to translate this video. This YouTuber works in an office building with a reputation for being haunted. Said. So he waits until nighttime to start recording a video for his channel. At 3 a.m., the lights go out at random. Look closely, and you'll see a shadowy figure dart across the doorway moments prior. It's a short while later, the speakers one room over turn on by themselves and play a haunting melody. Watch his reaction and tell me if you think he's acting surprised or if this really happened by itself. Oh, I think you can time it or something. No, I can't freaking time it. Just when things are getting back to normal, the lights cut out again and this time if you look closely, you'll see a figure with long hair over its face standing in the doorway. These flats are supposed to be abandoned, so who is in this window? Posted to TikTok by Scared to Death Zero, this crew is looking around an abandoned encampment at night. When they see movement in one of the upper windows, zooming in, there's no one there, but then they move their flashlight from the window, and the figure again peeks out from behind a curtain. Many in the comments are completely freaked out. Well, some think it's a squatter. Others are not so sure. They say it has no face. What is this thing? Would you try to find out? This doll is reputed to make you crazy, and Dima is spending three days alone with it. Let's see what happens. First, Dima introduces viewers to the doll. What do you mean? Как мне сказали, чтобы освободить ее, надо, соответственно, разбить стекло. It doesn't take long for things to unravel. At around 3 a.m., this happens. That sounded like a footstep. For some reason, Dima decides to visit the doll, and he soon regrets it. Stop. Stop. Yeah. <gasps> I mean, wouldn't you? Так, мать, давай-ка ты. Those eyes look real, are they? Soon Dima loses his pulse. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Why is my pulse 0? What is happening? Okay, that was just an accident, but is this? What is happening? What are these unexplained noises? And this one? As the doll is taken over Dima's bed, its presence moves things in his room. Later, he discovers the doll's little shoe on the floor. Hey, 
Ребята, это же ее вышло. How did it end up there? Has she been wandering around while he sleeps? One of the security cameras then moves on its own. Was it just positioned poorly? Or is this the possessed doll's work as well? I think it probably is the Maleficent spirit at play. This doll is 100% possessed, and in my opinion, its demon is now on the loose in Dima's house. He shouldn't have ever let her in. It is said that evil resides here. This paranormal explorer is about to greet it. Ricky Velasquez seems to sense this reputed evil early on. He then senses this hiding under a bench. While outside the structure, he hears a hushed whining or whimpering. Shortly after, he hears what sounds like a bottle being kicked. Back inside, he senses something in his presence again. And then on an upper floor, this unexplained sound. Is evil still lingering? Ricky isn't the only one who can feel it. Afnan Arash is plagued by paranormal activity wherever he goes, and now not even his home offers respite from the constant hauntings. Even though we don't speak the same language, I can still feel the anger and desperation in his voice as he demands for the ghost to leave him be. <laughs> Afnan stares in disbelief at the table of broken plates. It's hard to tell if he threw a rock or something to break the plates himself or if a poltergeist did it. The right half of the table is not on camera, which makes me suspicious because that's also probably his throwing arm. However, he sounds so genuinely terrified that I think this video is paranormal. Does this man have an unwanted paranormal roommate? Published in January of 2021, this individual woke up to door slamming and got up to check it out. The man says this is a frequent occurrence. So my door just slammed again. There's no windows open in the house at all. As he looks around the house, his roommate, Brad, asks if he's the one slamming the door. No. He answers in the negative and continues his search, revealing that only he and Brad are home. After a moment, the table in the middle of the living room floor jerks toward him on its own. Yeah. It wasn't me, man. I didn't even touch it. He watches the table for a bit, while Brad seems completely unconcerned and out of it. The cameraman shows that there are no cords around or attached to the table that he could have tripped over. The only cords are to the Nintendo remote controls, but they are in front of the table. So how did this table move so aggressively? There must be spirits abound in this haunted home. Look closely and you'll see a tall figure in a black robe looking through the front door of this home. And no, it's not Halloween. It's large and yet at the same time so hard to see that it might be nothing at all. I see it though, and it stands there for a full minute without moving. Some visitors should definitely call ahead. Posted to the Rings subreddit by Ashlyn Bra. This resident had an unexpected visitor at her door around 6 p.m. on Vancouver Island. The ring camera footage shows an enormous bear sniffing around the front porch of this resident's home. After bypassing the front door, the bear wanders to a side window looking briefly up at it, as if considering entering this way.
The massive animal then makes its way around the side of the garage and out of sight. Many in the comments are saying pass to this one, while Redditor Bubba9999 is wondering why it has a collar on. Was it tagged for wildlife tracking purposes, or does this big bear have an owner? More importantly, is he going to make this a regular thing? A YouTuber called Bangladesh Ghost Hunter, together with his trusty dog Thomas, go exploring abandoned houses and other fabled haunted places deep in the woods. One of their freakier finds takes place at night deep in the woods, where scary things are caught on camera, beginning with a scream. As they strain into the darkness, a large number of weird things are caught on camera that deserve further analysis. Watch this part beginning at 5 minutes and 39 seconds and see how much paranormal activity you can see in 15 seconds. Okay, at 5 minutes and 40 seconds, a strange yellow orb glances across the camera and goes away. Two seconds later, he turns his head as this pink aura is caught on camera that may or may not be the cameraman's finger. But in that moment, a strange wispy mist rains down on him that he can't see. 20 minutes and 40 seconds is when they finally see it. A form between two trees in the shape of a person. <laughs> the flashlight chances upon it for but a brief moment and then it's gone. But it's still there watching them. Of that I am sure. This convincingly real ghost sighting was caught on a ring doorbell camera, tilted at an interesting perspective that shows us more than most other scary doorbell cam videos ever do. The mysterious figure appears from nothingness, which is scary enough, but what makes one of the creepiest things ever caught in the history of doorbell cameras is how the apparition continues to walk down the street for 37 seconds before disappearing again. Feel free to prove me wrong, but this could actually be a real ghost sighting caught on camera. Freaky, right? A man is fishing in Australia when his raft briefly goes over a dense patch of seaweed. He carefully gets out and walks along the slippery surface in search of a good place to fish. No sooner does he cast his line out when this happens. The dark outline of a sizable stingray angrily flaps towards him with all of its might. I'm guessing the raft accidentally bumped into it, sending it charging into his direction. It moves right by him in his blind panic. There's no doubt that he was over top of it earlier. In fact, if he had chosen to step off the other side of the raft, his foot probably would have gone right on it. Baird Strudwick and his friends are just goofing around at a local trampoline park when they decide it would be funny to cover him in bubble wrap and do some stunts. None of them, not even Baird, expected this gag would almost cost him his life. The green bubble wrap suit definitely looks amusing, but after a while, Baird gets overheated and goes down. They quickly rip the suit off, and Baird says he's feeling okay at first. A little bit later, it becomes obvious that what he's actually feeling is the early onset of heat stroke. Now all of his friends gather around him and try to think of a reasonable plan as Baird sits on a chair with his head hanging low. No, I didn't feel. I was gonna say you could get like a wet towel. Like, That's so you yeah. say yeah. towel. 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 I'm just hanging out. You ain't doing too well. If you guys have like a hand towel, you just like. 
About 40 tense minutes pass before Baird finally recovers enough to film an outro for the video. He is still drenched in sweat and looks woozy, but I'm really glad nothing permanent happened. I will admit that I didn't think anything serious would come from this idea, and the sudden turn of events took me by surprise. Hopefully this video will help us all think twice before attempting anything similar. Remember one thing about the forest. Remember this. It's no place for the faint of heart. Posted by Mysterio Canal in January of 2013. This video purports to show a fire witch in the forest. Translated from Spanish, Mysterio writes, the video amateurs pursued an alleged witch on a road in southern Mexico, running into it several times managed to capture it in detail, looking like a being of flames or a witch. It is worth mentioning that there are many physical phenomena that can explain this event, but you have the last word. The video shows a glow in the distant darkness that shines for a moment before dimming to black. The amateur videographers are driving down a dark and bumpy dirt road at night towards the glow. Then in the midst of the road, the orange light again appears, igniting a figure in the road. What is it? Could it be the rare fire witch? According to Fixpedia Fandom Wiki, a fire witch is a rare figure in folklore that can either heal or destroy in an instant, and of course their primary source of power is the ease at which she can manipulate flames, using her ability to cause unseen destruction. These witches aren't only here to destroy, however. They are also masters at healing and may heal if they so choose. Is this mystical figure captured in the forest good or evil? Let's hope she uses her powers for the better. A man named John Crawford casually walks around a Walmart in Beaver Creek, Ohio, well armed. Here you can see him standing in an aisle on the right side of the screen. Gun in the store. Did he got it pulled out? Yeah, he's like pointing at people. What do they look like? The 911 caller grows more nervous with each passing moment and tells the operator that the situation is growing dire. I don't know what he's, he's just like looking around, waving it. He looks like he's just trying to load it. He's just trying to load it? Yeah. Confirmed. Soon a family of three walks down the same aisle as John Crawford and starts checking out some animals for sale. This is where the 911 call gets kind of strange. My name is Ronald Ritchie. He just pointed at like two children. Okay. Watch the video again and you'll see that John never really aims at the kids. In fact, the family barely reacts to his presence, and I'm not sure if they even notice him at all. One of them hangs around a bit longer before leaving, so I wouldn't say they were exactly in distress. But the way the 911 caller describes the man and his actions, understandably has the police on edge. An officer arrives on the scene expecting trouble, and a brief altercation ensues. The surprised suspect is laid to rest on the spot after police thought he was going to attack. As it turns out, John Crawford was simply buying an airsoft at Walmart on that day. The person who called 911 did not get in any trouble, but many now agree he was overreacting. Let me know if you would have called the police based on what you've seen on this CCTV video. Well, inside this haunted house, these ghost hunters are lured into the forest. Published by Lomar Mendez in October of 2021, the pair consider whether or not something is in the house with them, and as they explore the house, they hear something. The house is probably creaking. Their camera's light appears to be malfunctioning, and soon they become positive that someone else is here. As they wait in fear, they hear a strange noise from the next room, and then they see the figure. They take this as their cue to leave. While they do escape the house without incident, they're being followed, but the big reveal is yet to come. Well, this is a pretty messed up thing for a dad to do. These two should look on the bright side. This could have ended so much worse. What would you do if you ran into a massive python in the paranormal all in one night?
published to YouTube in June of 2020 by Catch 'Em All Fishing. That's exactly what happened to this explorer as he trapezed through the ramshackle underground city. In fact, Zack seems to have gone here specifically to look for snakes. The abandoned place is, in and of itself, creepy enough. He keeps shouting hello as he begins his journey, and his echo rings eerily throughout the enormous space. The dark, damp place seems like the perfect breeding ground for snakes. At one point, around 4 minutes and 15 seconds, Zack appears to capture the beam of a flashlight bouncing off a distant wall. He also hears voices. He may not be alone down here. He rushes over to see who else is there, but he says the voices have stopped. Then he hears the haunted voices again. It's more like a moaning, which is made even more terrifying by the echo. Then at 5 minutes and 53 seconds, Zack abruptly turns to a doorway, seeming to sense something there, and it appears that something is there. If you watch in slow-mo, an obscure figure is standing in the darkness of the opposite room. Although he got the heck out of there, Zack's night didn't end there. As he's driving home, he crosses paths with what he'd been looking for all along, a snake. Zack chases down an enormous python. He manages to grab it by the tail while the snake tries to bury its head in the sand. He grips the snake near its head and shows the audience its fangs as the python starts to wrap its thick body around his arm. I think this is exactly why you should never grab a python. Zack tries to release the snake into a bag and does manage to collect him and zip him inside without getting tagged. Between encountering what may have been the paranormal in the underground city, and prying this python from his arm, one thing's for sure, this dude has nerves of steel. A YouTuber called Are You Amazed decides to try an urban legend, which if done correctly will transport him to the spirit realm after pressing floor numbers in a special sequence. Nothing seems to be happening until he presses the last elevator button, which as you can see here is clearly a 6. They start to get scared when the elevator hits the 6th floor and promptly keeps moving. Yo, 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 I pressed 6. Yo, where is he? <laughs> the door gets stuck for a while on the 11th floor and then suddenly opens. A strange man they have never seen before is standing before them, with clasped hands and a knowing look on his face. What's weird is how the man doesn't even seem to get into the elevator. As they step around him and rush down the stairs, are you amazed still not as sure exactly what happened, or if the scary random encounter was supernatural? I guess the person waiting for them could have just been a normal guy waiting for the elevator. But if that's the case, then I'm not sure why it didn't stop at the 6th floor first. Also, I should say that the number 11 is considered an unlucky number in many cultures, so it might not be a coincidence that this is the floor they stopped on. A lady in a car confronts this group after she believed they were making rude comments about her daughter. The group of boys try to argue that she is mistaken and they have done nothing wrong. The woman seems not to believe them and that's where things get heated. I'm just trying to look to where you live. Why? Why? You live. You're not coming to my house. I want to talk to your parents. You're not coming to my house. Are you going to cry? You're not coming to my house. She parks her car in the road and comes right up to the group. They begin to argue back and forth and nothing gets resolved. The police were eventually called and that's where the video ends. It remains unclear if the boys had done anything wrong or if the woman was acting like this for no reason. According to Marisol Cole, this house was built in 1890 and abandoned for decades. She and her friend get a bad feeling as they head up the steps and feel an immense energy weighing them down. As they cross into the kitchen, they find this cold, unsmiling photograph that makes them gasp out loud. <gasps> Whoa. The woman's expression looks pained and worried, as this man is across from her with a slight look of concern as well. Maybe it was just the style at the time to look serious during a photograph, or maybe something unspeakable happened here to make them look that way. When Marisol leaves, they are surprised to find the door instantly locked behind them, when there should have been no possible way. And when Marisol glances across the street for one last look, she captures this small, sullen face staring back at her in the window. 
a face which, even from a distance, passingly resembles the photograph of the man they found earlier. So did they move his picture to the window to fake this part? Or do you think it's possible they really saw him? I'm going with the latter. The story of Sally and the Wood goes something like this. Located outside Bath and Somerset, there's a road that passes into the woodland of Brown's Folly, which locals refuse to drive down after dark due to the terrifying legend surrounding it. Known by locals as Sally in the Wood, it is said that no birds can be heard chirping through this stretch of the forest as a girl has her life taken there and now haunts the place. Some say they've heard a screaming child in the dark forest, and some have seen a full-bodied apparition of a girl racing into the road at night. The legends are all over the place about Sally in the woods. According to some, Sally was an 18th century gypsy girl who was held captive in a tower where she perished. The website Wiltshire Paranormal claims that this story is entirely fictional and that the name Sally in the Woods more likely came from a battle that occurred at Brown's Folly in 1643. As Sally is slang for scrimmish, this could very well be true. However, the Bathford Society claims that Sally was an actual person, but not the only one who passed away in a tower. This legend claims that Sally was a witch, living in a hut in the woods. Local records put Sally's passing at the age of 100, although that wouldn't really explain her appearance as a young girl ghost, unless Sally the Witch had the ability to appear youthful. Regardless of what you choose to believe, the generational legend of Sally in the Woods lives on, and the resulting fear can be felt throughout this video, published to YouTube by the abandoned prepper in March of 2020, examining various parts of the house up close. The abandoned prepper wanders through this haunted place solo. Some parts of the house appear deeply aged, while others recall the more recent past. There's an old piano, a strange lock on the door, and an old photo box in the basement that appears as though they're from another century, but other parts of the home look as though they're from the 60s or 70s. Prepper says that he can hear water running and regularly hears strange noises. Shortly after entering, there is a definite sound of glasses clinking about upstairs while he is downstairs. My days, this is massive. I'm getting a bit scared now. The f Hello? Prepper calls out to alert anyone else exploring the house to his presence. He also said the house has recently become a hotspot for urban explorers. He returns to the first floor and then upstairs to the second. He keeps hearing strange noises throughout. Birds are chirping and the sound of running water. What? Someone's flooding the basement. He compares the house to Amityville and says it definitely gives him bad vibes. While he explores the adjacent house, at one point he enters a room. Notice there's no blue ball here. He heads upstairs and there's a loud sound of something wooden slamming or falling down. When he returns to that same room later, there's a blue ball in the middle of it. The call is coming from inside the house. He also finally discovers where the sound of running water was coming from. The basement of the house is being flooded. There's a hose passing down there, so it looks like it was done intentionally. As he's getting ready to head out of the home, he turns the corner to descend the stairs. That's when you hear the strike of a piano key. Off. Hello? While at the same time the hallway light bulb is swinging back and forth, he races down to catch whoever struck the cord, but there's no one. Finally outside, he turns back to look at the dark shell of a house. You can literally feel the creepiness shed away from you. A creepy dark road in India looks like the perfect place for a paranormal dash cam video, but not everything has to be a ghost encounter. <laughs> I would gladly welcome an old fashioned ghost sighting compared to what they've just caught on camera. Anyway, this still image taken at 29 seconds says it all. The jungle cat is fully outstretched and trying to make a meal of them.
This looks like a well-practiced move that might have worked in the past. Oh yeah, and the person recording should have definitely alerted the moped instead of letting them blindly pass into harm's way. Bogdan Riva of a Russian YouTube channel called Lost World has become obsessed with exploring an abandoned haunted apartment building. Paranormal activity here is hard to catch for a person, so he sets up cameras to see what scary stuff is caught on video. While he's in his car, one of his cameras picks up footsteps in a room with a creepy doll. Whether this doll is related to the paranormal activity is unknown, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was a correlation between the two, because just look at the scary thing. He returns to the house and, not knowing what he's caught on tape, declares this paranormal investigation to be a failure. He goes into the next room only to find a large, heavy shelf has been thrown to the ground by an angry poltergeist. The sight fills him with dread, but it isn't until a few seconds later that he sees something over his shoulder that makes him run with fear. I can't say I see anything here at 18 minutes, and maybe he doesn't either. It could have been a bad feeling more than anything that made him run. All I know is that I agree this house is beyond creepy, and he should get out of there. Anything that throws a shelf could easily do the same to him. This home footage was taken at the end of 2016 in rural Pennsylvania. A man grows tired of the strange noises coming from his basement and decides to investigate with a camera. According to him, it always sounds like something is running up the steps at full speed, but nothing ever comes through the door when it reaches the top. The man is confident that he will be able to scare off whatever it is that's lurking below. He opens the door and goes down the steps without a weapon. All right, here we go. Hello. I know I hear you down here. I know I heard you. Holy f Oh my f Dude! I just saw it. Holy f man. Instead of running away, he chases after the shadowy figure. The camera pans around the basement only to reveal that he is now alone. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to have someone dressed in all black and peek around a corner, so this video could be fake. Then again, this video could be genuine evidence of an actual shadow person. As for the original uploader, he says that he and his family no longer feel safe in their home. They're now looking to move someplace else. The Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place, and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. To me, it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness. Shortly after, they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Ooh. What? Sure I then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. It felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Like come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. And then again, they hear footsteps. I... Yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. 
Well, I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you think? Luan Mendez is a YouTuber who is unafraid to put his life on the line in the name of a paranormal investigation. And as this video goes to show, ready to explore the scariest local legends he can find. One such legend revolves around a dismal force known only as La Sinjora Fantisma or the Ghost Lady. The Ghost Lady is said to still roam the home she passed away in years ago. In life, she earned a reputation. As as a taker of lives and lived a wicked existence full of hatred until the very end. Her spirit is said to still reflect in the bathroom mirror. If you go in there and call upon her for an unholy visit, which is tonight's goal, they start by rather rudely calling her name outside of the property, hoping to get her to come through the window. She doesn't appear so they step inside. The place has been stripped bare, but overall it looks somewhat inhabitable at least as far as abandoned places go, but it's more about the way it feels than its aesthetics. Something about the small and cramped space that feels ill-fitting and all wrong, like nothing good has ever happened here, and only unimaginable horrors can befall anyone foolish enough to stay inside. They creep their way to the room where her legendary mirror hangs unblemished amidst the clutter. Luan stands alone while his friends keep watch. His tone is expectant and again, not very polite as he addresses the infamous ghost lady in more of a challenge than a request. Aparece aqui, senhor. Vamos ver. They are all about to leave, but they decide to try to turn on the shower just to see what happens. To their surprise, clean water drips out of a rusty pipe that shouldn't work and doesn't even have a shower head. This was probably where she hung what was left of the lives she took, upside down and filleted open to drain in the shower. Seeing this broken shower work again shortly after doubling her powers makes them rethink their situation and wonder if they should have taken a nicer tone. But that doesn't matter because it's too late now. They are walking towards the exit and everything seems much more negative and dreadful than the first time around, more of a feeling than anything else, as if a great evil has awoken and is spreading across the otherwise plain walls. And that's when she appears, not when Luan tells her to, nor in the mirror where she's supposed to be according to legend, but maybe that's the entire point, her house, her rules. They hole up in the room for a while and discuss what to do, but the situation takes care of itself by the time they open the door. The lady seems to have proven her point that she is real and vanishes just as quickly as she came. This video would be easy enough to fake because realistically speaking, all they would need is for an older woman to stand in the doorway, which coincidentally is a lot easier to do than actually using special effects to get her into the mirror. For these reasons, I think this video might not be real, but that doesn't necessarily mean the legend itself isn't true or that something else wasn't watching them from the the shadows all along. A YouTube channel called Abandoned Explorer heads to an old house that is so eerie, it's best to go by day. I hear a strange noise in this video. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, is this a creepy sigh? So I'm gonna guess this is like some sort of living room area. They are in the center of the house, so I don't think that it can be the wind. Anyway, they continue exploring until one of them yells for assistance. Perhaps they've made contact with someone on the other side. Oi! What? Hey, mate. What's going on, mate? Whoa. Whoa. But as it turns out, they've only made contact with the other side of the floor and now dangle helplessly. They do show the same hole earlier at 6 minutes and 12 seconds though, so this might have been staged. I can tell because this distinctive yellow area is seen in both shots. 
Mr. Green published this video in 2016. His description reads, Just a normal night with me, the missus, and our dog Freddy. Then all of a sudden he went mental at the wall or window, and whatever it was just touched him. This is no joke. I'm freaking out. The dog is barking at the window in the beginning of the clip. Then suddenly he backs away sharply and quickly. The couple believes the ghost touched their dog because of this jerking movement. The window. <laughs> what the f The dog spends the remainder of the video running around the house like a madman, looking for the ghost. He's no longer barking, but he does seem very agitated. His owner tells him to calm down now, and he does seem to calm down for a moment. But when the owner picks him up to hold him, he starts barking hysterically again. What could have touched that poor dog? Was it a ghost? If it was a ghost, what did it want and where did it go? This place needs signs saying, do not enter. Published in May of 2022, Hassan Barbar is searching through an abandoned building. When he sees this dark figure through a window, it looks like a djinn. The figure quickly moves out of view. <laughs> And when Hassan enters the room, he is gone. Hassan locks himself inside the now empty room, but it seems like something is still in the room with him. He spies something written on the wall. Is it a message from the djinn? He turns to look in this cupboard again, and the lights are again messed with, and that's not the only havoc in the room. As he looks around, he turns back to the overhanging lights, and suddenly there's a bucket covering one of them. I love you, my friend. When he reaches up to touch the light, it's almost like he's electrocuted. Something then obscures his camera. It's the bucket from the light. What is happening here? Hassan is not sure, but I suspect it's the djinn's handiwork. What's more terrifying than your child staring at something invisible in the middle of the night when you hear someone talking to her? Post it to the ghost subreddit. El Soto 14 explains, Everyone was asleep in the house, but something told me to check my daughter's monitor. She was sleeping, then sat up and stared at the door. The Redditor is wondering what the strange noise might be at the 10 second mark of the recording. There seems to be a consensus in the comments that the voice says the word listen. Others say it just sounds like a frog croaking to them. The redditor notes that her daughter doesn't remember anything from the incident. Whatever the voice is saying, if it really is a voice, the girl sitting up, seemingly aware of the presence, in and of itself is terrifying. On January 15th, 2013, YouTuber Mr. Hutch117 posted this strange sound heard in the forest. I don't want to be out in the night time. Where did it come from? We're in the middle of nowhere. The man filming asks. The man believed it was coming from up above somehow, though it also seems to come from every direction. He and his hiking partner had just heard a noise that was a bit off-putting. He decided to turn on his phone's video to capture the sound if they heard it again. Halfway through the footage, you can hear why they were concerned. The sound sounds off again, and it seemed like the guttural laughter of a demon. Then comes on a deep and echoey wailing, something that's not human, not animal, not anything known. Well, viewers think it must be fake because the people in the video are reacting much to the frightening sound. Others suggest it could be related to the mysterious trumpet-like noises heard worldwide, and some say it could be the US government project HARP. What do you think it is? A motorcycle vlog turns paranormal when a man in India goes exploring down a long haunted cemetery road. His dash cam refuses to focus as he rides past the cemetery gates. 
So strong is the paranormal energy, he thinks he made a big mistake coming down here. And based on what happens next, I'd say he was right. Their lights chance upon a lone figure wearing a dress. There's no reason for anyone to be on foot out here at this hour. No flashlight or any source of light. Minutes away from a haunted cemetery. The figure is not a tree and appears to be stepping first, towards and then away from them. I suppose it could be a pedestrian, but like I said, why someone would be roaming this eerie place is anyone's guess. A lot of children have had the misfortune of being singled out and picked on by their own personal bully. But there's one child in Spanish Town, Jamaica, who has had the worst luck of all. He says that they are being bullied by an evil spirit, and his parents and local town all believe him. Plus, there's video evidence for proof. His face has been blurred out to protect his dark secret. One video shows him sitting in a chair with his family. After being asked a few questions, the ghost decides to take control of the situation. Although he could have been pushing off the ground with his feet, you can't see the floor in this video so it's hard to tell. One thing is for sure though, look closely and you can see the boy's hand right arm fly straight up in the air. It's definitely as if he's being grabbed by the wrist and jerked straight back. If he is faking it, then he is a very good actor. Okay, take a look at the second video and tell me what you think. He is just standing against a wall in his neighborhood when all of a sudden... You can clearly see his whole body in this video as the left leg suddenly shoots up, almost as if someone is pulling him by the foot. Again, if this is fake, then he is a great actor with even better balance. It looks like he really is about to fall flat on his face until his mother rushes in to save him. If a ghost really happens to be crossing over into the material realm and grabbing a hold of his shoe here, no one knows exactly why. Still, the local bishop has no doubt that this relentless ghost bully is real. Dom Soto is making a vlog in his bedroom. Room, when an urgent knocking sends him rushing to the front door, Dom Soto actually opens the door for this masked stranger, which automatically makes me think this video could be scripted because I think most people would have kept it locked. Then again, maybe he didn't think this was anything serious at the time, or maybe he couldn't understand what the person was trying to say through their mask. Whatever the case may be, they have a short and tense exchange. Let me in. No, I'm your biggest fan. Get off my property, dude. Eventually, Dom Soto convinces his biggest fan to leave, only to have him unexpectedly return moments later at the window. By this point, it's obvious that Dom Soto is not going to get rid of this intruder without help from the police. So he turns off the video and goes to call them. If this is real, then no update has been given on the situation for well over a year. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. In the very beginning of this creepy video from India, a man is riding on a motor cycle and then he's suddenly on foot. So I guess he must have broken down in the middle of nowhere and has to walk to the nearest town. After a while, he sees somebody else and is relieved to find help. But when he gets a better look, his hope does not last. The woman is wearing long white robes and holds her arms bent in a weird stance. The two do not speak and the man knows that she is not normal, so he doesn't even try. As she advances, he notices her face is abnormally gaunt and pale, the face of a zombie or someone close to their end. And the scary woman is making creepy noises too, barely human ones at that. <laughs> she 
she is not very coordinated and he keeps backing away to create more space. More amazed at this strange sighting than necessarily scared. The best look we get at her face is around 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Some say that this is a demon sighting caught on tape and she has large dark circles under her eyes like a possessed woman. Though I suspect it could be special effects makeup. He slowly backs away without taking the camera off her for a minute, never letting her slip out of his sight until he presumably reaches help in the next town. What do you expect to encounter inside a morgue but the passed away? Published by Kay in September of 2016, this exploration of a haunted abandoned morgue turns cold. Kay and crew arrive at the morgue at night, wandering around it and find a way in. They enter through a piece of metal exterior that has been ripped off. While exploring, they come across the beds where the people are examined. Oh my god, that's the death beds. Wait, mate. That's not from the <laughs> they also spot a creepy message on the wall that reads, You're not supposed to be here. We will get you. In another room, dripping in red liquid, is the word beware. Why does it say beware? What the f is oh this? What? Beware of what? Let's see. Down a hallway, they find a mattress on the floor. Apparently, someone is calling this mortuary home. They then come across what might be the crematorium, or maybe just where the past on are kept waiting. Oh my god, mate, what are these doors? What is kept in there? At one point, when they've just entered another room, one of the crew turns quickly around and pushes his friends back the other way. That's when they hurry out of the morgue. Kay explains that what he saw in the last room was the shadow of a man on the floor. When he entered, the man got up and glass started cracking. Was it the man whose bed they saw in the hallway? Or was this a ghost that was about to cause true havoc? A YouTuber named Chastity Pineda TV has a haunted basement. As this paranormal video shows, her camera detects motion at 2.52 a.m., but she can't see anything, only the sound of ghost footsteps. And 8 minutes later is when this 3am paranormal experience is archived for her to look at later. She puts the camera in a different spot, and on another night, 11.45 to be precise, she catches the swing in motion with all of the lights on, and at 2.20 the next afternoon, the swing is moving on its own and something new happens. Listen again, did you hear the creepy kid's voice when the stick falls? That's an old walking stick they're interacting with, by the way. Perhaps this object is what's causing these events. Ready to explore one of Ohio's most dangerous abandoned places? Neither am I. Let's leave it up to Urbex Dane, who published this urban exploration of Elderwood in August of 2017. According to Dane, this street is one of the most dangerous areas in this half-abandoned city. Willing to take the risk, he entered an empty building on the creepy abandoned Cleveland Street. While inside, a truck pulls up. The truck starts beeping and is playing music loudly. Still, Urbex continues exploring but peers out a second-story window to see who's there. It's not clear what this dude's purpose is. And that strangeness is turned up a notch when a group enters as Dane continues through the home. Unsure of what to do, he waits. Are these just more urban explorers? Or is something more nefarious going on? Oh. 
He creeps out into the hall, which is empty, as is the stairwell, and yet he doesn't leave. Instead, he heads upstairs, down another stairwell. He hears this. That's where his battery runs out. Don't worry, he survived, but he doesn't know what was going on or who these strangers were. Many are noting in the comments that this could very well have been dangerous, and he was lucky he got out of there alive. Sosa 37 posted this spooky video of her dog in 2017. In the description of the video, she wrote, they always say animals can see spirits. My dog was barking at nothing in the room. She wasn't looking at the TV screen. And you can see her move her head suddenly at the 9 second mark. At first, it appears as though the dog is perhaps barking at her own reflection in the television in front of her, but it becomes clear that the dog is looking at something to the right of the TV. And then, as the YouTuber noted, the dog jerks its head suddenly and jumps up, looking above the television. She starts growling and barking more as she gazes upwards. The camera scans where she is looking off to the side of the room, and there's absolutely nothing there. The dog then gets up from its seated position, continuing to growl and bark, and looking still at a spot to the right of the TV. The dog is acting aggressively and defensively, and although her owner remains calm and asks the dog what's wrong, only she seems to know that something is very wrong. What is she seeing in the void? This home in Villisca, Iowa is where an axe-wielding maniac once took the lives of an entire family and two guests. Whoever did it was never brought to justice and now, more than a hundred years later, the restless spirits of those left behind have yet to find peace. A YouTuber named Lighthouse Music senses the spirit of children hiding in the closet and starts recording. She speaks in a nice tone and offers candy. Nothing happens for some time until... Then, as if further proof was needed, the spirit appears to follow some other basic commands. Just a little bit further, or can you close it? They even ask the child to open the door wider than before as a test, and it timidly seems to obey. But the part that really has me convinced is at the very end. Just in case that was you, I'm going to do as promised. I'm going to leave you some candy. I'm going to leave it right here, over here on this chair for you, okay? Well, thank you. Notice how the door shuts harder than any other time in the video. As soon as the spirit gets what it wants, Maybe it could be a draft from a nearby window opening and closing the door, but this definitely seems like childlike behavior to me. Downright Dives is a three-man team of dumpster divers who go through the trash looking for discarded valuables. They comb through a series of dumpsters without incident, mostly coming across old rotten food. They're searching through the last couple of dumpsters when one of them makes a startling discovery. No, 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 no. It's moved in there, guys. Guys, guys, guys. It's moved in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Neither of his two friends believe that there could have been somebody lying at the bottom of the dumpster. They just have to take a closer look for themselves. That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. No. Go, 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 go. The camera doesn't get a clean shot, but you can hear a man pop up from underneath the boxes and screams that he owns everything inside of the dumpster. According to the description, it was a homeless man who continued to come after them and even got into a physical altercation off camera. 
I'm on the fence with this one since we never get a chance to see the homeless person in question. Also, living in a dumpster is a stereotype about homeless people that is rarely true, so this encounter is very unlikely. Let me know if you agree. The team from YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series encounters demons in this haunted house. As one of the home's residents gives the team a tour, she expresses surprise at the silence and the spirits respond in kind. You know it's here, but it's like, it's quiet. Cause usually you'll hear like a little bit banging or something like that, but there you go. The team conducts a spirit session in the house and they tell the spirit to leave. They don't want you here. Say oh my gosh. He then hears a noise which is not entirely captured by the audio. It sounds like a door or somebody walking on wood, kind of. I'll explain it. It's the weirdest sound. A moment later, the audio does capture this. Okay. Alright. Yep. I can't do this place. Sean leaves the house and it sits empty for 10 minutes. That's when the steady cam captures this. And this. And also this. What happened there? Was that paranormal activity? I think the spirits in the house are taunting the crew, just as they do the homeowners. But the real question is why? What are they here for? And what will it take for them to leave? A creepy dash cam video from Saudi Arabia shows a woman sitting in the middle of a busy highway. She seems to be stuck in a trance as she stares straight ahead, taking a high beam to the face without looking down or covering her eyes. It's unclear how long she has been here for or for how much longer she intends to stay. Meanwhile, the driver seems to be having a conversation with a young passenger. They don't speak much, but tell me what is being said here during this short exchange, if you can. <laughs> Just when it seems like they are about to pull around her, the mysterious figure speaks in a shrill voice. Two people approach her in uniform, probably police, and she waves them off. I imagine that they are telling her this is unsafe, but apparently she doesn't want any of their help and seems perfectly content screaming in the street. I have no idea what information could be so important that she feels the need to do this. Some people are saying this is a witch sighting and that she is foretelling a future of some kind. Something possibly of terrible proportions that you and I definitely don't want to come true. No no matter what the situation is, I really hope she gets the help she so clearly needs. There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9pm, the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f It doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. YouTuber Kits published this clip of a man screaming at a McDonald's drive through in September of 2017. Kits noted this was typical Miami and wrote that the man was shouting at the top of his lungs. This man is awful. Even though it was only 4 a.m., 
Absolutely no reason for this man to be screaming and throwing himself around so early in the morning, he wrote. The uploader said that before he started filming, the man in front of him was going crazy in the back seat of his car, kicking the roof of the car over and over, making it shake violently for around a minute prior to the recording. You can see the car shaking slightly in the video before the man gets out of the back seat and starts shouting into the night. The uploader claims it was substances that are causing him to act like this, and I agree with that theory. There just doesn't seem to be any other explanation. Some people are afraid of nuns to some extent, so imagine how a nun spirit might terrify someone like that. The Ouija brothers entered the UK's most haunted nunnery in this scary video. Early in their investigation, they hear this spooky sound. I'm just walking, I'm just having a look if there's anyone there. It was a humming. The humming happens again shortly after. Hold on, hold on, the, the, the humming just happened again. Later, they hear something rustling very near them. It sounded like someone. You see, there's like debris there on the floor. I don't know if it was like debris falling on the floor, but it was like movement. I don't know if something. Like something like that. Was that just some of the debris from the wall falling off? Or is someone invisible standing in this corner? Considering how spooky this place feels, I personally think a ghost nun is there. Say your prayers. Marcus Webb has been feeling a presence in his house and decides to start recording. A white specter passing by is what he claims to find. I'm not sure if this is a dusty cobweb or something truly paranormal. All I know is that Marcus felt like he was not alone and the camera verified that something moved nearby, which is definitely a creepy coincidence. Hina Tahir and her sister are camping in New Jersey's Double Trouble State Park when they notice a strange woman who is half submerged in a local lake. Her clothes are all white and she has a serious expression on her face as she sways in place. To this very day, the two girls aren't sure if what they recorded was a live person or a ghost. If it was a person, then I have absolutely no idea why they would be in the water while fully clothed. And if it was a ghost, then maybe her body is lurking in the shadow waters below. Whatever the case may be, Hina and her sister decide to leave the woman in peace and dare not go any closer. Zishan Sheikh is fooling people with a scream mask all night until he goes a little too far. He's sitting in the road with his back turned when he scares the driver of this vehicle unconscious. I don't know if it's staged or if this person had some kind of heart condition and passed out. I'm not even sure he is still alive at this point. Either way, this YouTuber cradles the person's body in his arms and prays. It's unclear what happens next. The fact that they immediately stopped recording makes me think this stranger's reaction could be real. There is a powerful figure on this roof, and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large, dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. <laughs> All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. A ghost boy. 
known as the Pukong in Indonesian, was captured on film in this cemetery. Posted by Antarija, a cameraman is wandering a cemetery at night when he turns to spot this figure. The figure is standing wrapped like a mummy. The distorted face is barely discernible, and the cameraman quickly turns and flees into the darkness. He keeps turning back and somehow the figure is closer and closer. Its horrifying face is what nightmares are made of. It's not clear if the thing is chasing him, but it does seem to be on his tail. Did he make it out alive? Or are one of these graves for him? Let's hope not. Things get scary on the open road. This is yet another case of a driver gone a little too ragey. The video is self-explanatory. The Mercedes driver gets out of his car, carrying a metal pole, but the driver is on his toes. Putting pedal to the metal, he speeds off-road and leaves the would-be assailant in the dust. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what little driving infraction happened in the lead-up to this scary incident, no one should spring from their vehicle with a metal pole with the intent of getting revenge. Meet the vloggers are vacationing in Dubai and simply having an awesome time. They are returning to their rental car after a fun-filled day, only to find a surprise twist waiting for them on the hood. This person, yeah, they must live in the apartment that we live in yeah, to get in and take pictures. Do you know how close this is? Apparently, someone must have been following them around with a camera for the whole day. Each photograph has a completely handwritten message just for Yasmin. The last photograph labeled It's Me is completely blank. Some of these pictures were only taken a few feet away, meaning that whoever took them was close enough to grab her if they wanted to. I think that her husband Kel could be playing a joke on her, because he doesn't sound especially concerned about the whole thing. Listen to this part and tell me if you think he is the one responsible. I'm watching you, and then this picture here, it's me, just a blank one. This next video is most likely CGI, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time dissecting it. It was supposedly taken somewhere in the open waters in 2013. Crew members are recording a whale when all of the sudden, they capture something that, if not fake, is absolutely insane. The whole situation looks way too dramatic for me to believe it was just a natural event. I think a real shark attack would have been more visceral and also most likely would have taken place underwater. A father and son are bonding outdoors when they make a discovery in a puddle that's so bizarre they have to bring it home and make a video of what they've caught on camera. So I kind of looked at the little creatures that were in there and at my first glance they're round and have a tail just like a tadpole. The mysterious creatures have a long tail and two eyes that are especially visible. At 1 minute and 22 seconds, baby horse shoe crabs were my guess, but when I googled a picture it looked different. So what do you think they are? This Iraqi child is unique from her peers in many different ways because her skin and hair have no pigmentation at all, but most importantly, her eyes are pure red. The reason she squints into the camera is because her red eyes absorb all of the light instead of reflecting it. Her parents see this rare eye color as a blessing, but some see it as a curse. After all, red eyes are a nearly universal sign of possession in many cultures, though I doubt this is the case here. Some superstitious folks will no doubt be wary of her before they have a chance to better understand. Her red eyes will stay this way for the rest of her life and hopefully cause her no social stigma. When Reactor 4 burst at Chernobyl in 1986, a 10km exclusion zone was formed and thereafter was increased to 30 kilometers. The initial steam blast resulted in two passed away, while a further 28 passed within months of exposure. These numbers do not even touch upon the total passing toll caused by radiation. 
and they also don't touch upon the mutations in humans or animals in the area. Which brings us to this footage published in March of 2014. The uploader states that the video is filmed at Chernobyl Power Plant. A close-up of an animal in the area appears to show a headless form on four legs running across the railroad tracks. It almost looks like a headless deer. Some in the comments say that it looks like a large deer with the face of a rabbit, or a moose with a twisted neck, and still others say the creature appears as though its neck is deformed and bending towards the opposite side. Mutant or not, Kinda makes you wonder what other nightmare creatures are lurking in the area. A YouTuber named Sweet Dreams is shooting off Roman candles in celebration of the 4th of July when a shrill scream pierces the night air. <laughs> They track the noise for well over a minute until it becomes louder and more distinct. At the end of a short journey, standing a very close distance away, they discover the shrieking source hunched over and alone. What is that? Dude, what is that? He slowly backs away from the bent over grey humanoid and then goes into an all out run. The creature gives chase and Sweet Dreams turns around to find it swiping at him through the air. I can't tell if this is an actual humanoid or just one of their friends with makeup on, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. All of the other videos on his channel are just him playing video games, nothing else like this one. A creepy figure was spotted at an old villa near a graveyard. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in April of 2022, what would you do if you encountered this figure in the night? Walking past the graveyard, the cameraman enters the grounds of a villa that is said to have been abandoned two decades ago. After the sudden passings of three family members, villagers claim to hear sounds emanating from the place at night. Rumors of dark magic cast in the area also make these grounds forbidden. As he's exploring them anyway, he captures a shadow figure walking off. He walks after him but doesn't see anyone. Later, he hears crying. When he opens the door, he finds this holy terror. Can he escape it, or will this sound always be with him? I think this is the type of event that buries deep in the psyche. A YouTuber named Ruin Road wants to explore the old remains of the Hutchins Intermediate School in Detroit, Michigan, so he climbs through one of the blown out windows and rummages all around. He is getting some artistic shots of various angles and landscapes when he notices somebody is posted by a fence a few hundred feet away. Something feels off about the man, but he ignores it and keeps exploring. Some more time passes and Ruin Road eventually forgets all about the strange man, but then a noise in the next room swings him around. Ruin Road senses someone is coming for him and quickly gets out of the building fast. He later concludes that the person outside was serving as a lookout and that other people were coming into the building to jump him. I think there is a good possibility that this is true, but then again maybe they were just some fellow urban explorers or maybe he was being paranoid and there was no one around at all. With that said, I have in good fact heard about people getting robbed in abandoned buildings around Detroit, so I think it's good that he didn't stick around to find out. Secret rooms are usually viewed as whimsical, but they can also be terrifying. Tati explains that her brother's room had always had a gross smell in it, so the family brought a guy in to check it out. What he found is straight out of the movie Saw. Two hidden rooms were discovered through the wall of a storage room on the side of their house two rooms that they didn't even know existed. The rooms were linked to her brother's closet. Once they removed the shelves in the closet, they found a loose wall, opened it with a hanger, and discovered this mini door behind it. They opened it to find the two rooms. The rooms are quite spacious. 
Tati claims the floors were covered with dirt and grime and had been soaked in bleach by the guy. What did the previous homeowners have to hide away in these hidden rooms? We'll never know, and maybe we don't want to. Are you ready to spend the night in one of the most haunted places in the UK? Published in May of 2022, Exploring with Josh explores the Skurrid Inn, a place reputed to see high levels of paranormal activity. As the team spends their overnighter in the place, all is still and quiet until... Can you see it moving? Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, oh my f***! What the f Holy shit! Just Look at how fast oh my Bro, no bullshit. As they continue to explore the place, gathered in a pack, they hear this noise. See? <gasps> and yours. You Dude, can't you that. That might be the most amazing evidence in a long time. Bro, I'm actually kind of scared to sleep here. Off. Then, as they're downstairs, they hear their music box detecting motion upstairs. When they ask the spirit to step forward, they hear it again. Who is brave enough to go and check it out? Upstairs, one of the crew listens in, relaying its messages to the rest. Norse? Norse. Viking. Leave. Leave. Dude, he's straight up talking about you on God. Dude, this is one of the messages is very clear, and the messages get more pointed. Fool. Fool. It's always devil like this and that. Who's the fool? You all. Oh my god. It tells your name. Unholy. When the group suggests pulling their crew member out, the spirit becomes adamant. Dude, he said the craziest stuff to us already. Like, we can pull him out. Should we? Yeah. No, don't. Don't. Yeah, we should pull him out. Yeah, pull him out. That was probably the scariest one we've ever had for like SD's message. Now we're getting mixed messages. Does the spirit want them to go or stay? I'd sprint for it. Shared by YouTuber Random Videos 5, a supposed witch was captured on camera approaching the security guard in the street late at night. Let's see it unfold. <laughs> As he nears the wailing sound, he starts reciting a prayer, and then he sees her. The witch comes toward him, wailing. To me, she appears to walk very stiffly and has an uncanny narrow form. The security guard backs away as she continues to bellow. I think this is a real witch. I've never seen or heard anything like it before. And what I really want to know is if she is cursing him. And are we cursed too by proxy? We better say sorry to this witch before we're cursed next. If you encountered ghost footprints at your workplace, would you be able to continue working there as though nothing happened? Published to YouTube by Korean channel Saiwon Yoon in April of 2020, the uploader writes, The footprints of ghosts caught by the CCTV in the recording studio. The surveillance footage shows a recording studio at night. After capturing an odd glitch on camera in a certain area of the studio, which the uploader notes look like footprints, the crew sets up some paranormal sensors to see whether or not any spirit activity exists in the room. As you can see, the sensors are blowing up. They indicate something is moving in the darkness. Imagine sensing a paranormal presence in the studio, something you cannot see with the human eye, and then having that presence confirmed via these sensors. The idea certainly disturbs some sound technicians. YouTuber High and Sick Woo wrote in the comments, I was also surprised when I watched the video. I can't broadcast alone. I can't go to the studio at night. Would you be able to after seeing this? Because this footage appears real to me. Following footage comes from the Terror Channel, The Darkest Secret, a terror channel dedicated to showcasing the most incredible paranormal records, as well as the video you are currently watching. No one is allowed a good night's sleep in this haunted home.
trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community, I came across this image on the YouTube channel Breakman. The associated video shows a woman and her children not getting a moment's rest. After the blender turns on in the kitchen, the woman struggles to get her child back to sleep, and then this happens. This ghost lady is terrifying, and I need to know that she won't come haunt me. You can find the link to the Darkest Secret channel in the description. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.